I'm on the block with the gang. Okay, all right, we're here. Uh, hey, what's going on, people? Uh, what's poppin'? We're here. It's crazy. This is this is a nice little, I guess, impromptu episode, but it's still episode 29. Welcome to No Cool Down Podcast, man. You already you already know what time it is, man. You host with the most that man trip. We're in the building alongside my podcast partner, the Bodega Baron One Easy. How you doing? Uh, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Can't complain. Can't complain. And with us today. Gracing the no cool down platform, you know what I'm saying? Talking a little bit about this week's topics. We got two special guests, a couple homies from Growth First and Foremost Grizz on 13th. Please oh. introduce yourself. How you doing, guys? I'm Grizz on 13th, content creator and a uh, rapper. Uh, thank you guys for letting me on the cast randomly, you know. So, uh, you know, look how this turned out. Uh, yeah, what's up? Ready to talk about some video games and uh, have some hot takes. We got to do it. We got to do it, man. Make sure y'all check out Grizz on all platforms, including audio platforms, man. I, I, heard, I heard, he went, yes. heard he went heard he went, crazy on a song called Rain, you know what I'm saying, recently. Oh, I, heard yeah. he, I heard he went oh, stupid. Yeah. I heard he went stupid. We're kind of crazy, you know? Thank you, you know man. <laughs> but yeah, hey, and of course, we have another guest with us, of course, another growth homie, Charles the Sauce, Charles the Hiatus. What's going on, dog? What's poppin'? What's up, man? I mean, it's like my bro. It's like my third time here, bro. You know, I, yes, yeah. I we're, appreciate the invite, bro. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have an official sit down with everybody. I promise. We're gonna have the official like half and half. Like ones ones we talk about topics. The other ones we're, like actually talking about you know the career perspective and shit. We're gonna have a thirty for thirty with y'all soon. But you know these impromptu joints, I still appreciate y'all coming through for. All right. Well, also, no like the hardest working man on hiatus. It is funny because he's like, oh I'm god, on hiatus, but he's like every podcast, this shit. every podcast. Facts. Is, uh... Hey, hey, hey! This the streams may be on hiatus, <laughs> but the grind don't stop, bro. Grind does not stop. <laughs> Mm-mm. I was about to say this man got a strain funny bone and shit. He's like, yeah, man, I'm gone, bro. I, I can't, do, I can't, bro. I can't. I, <laughs> I got to, uh, I got to get my social battery replaced. My last one broke. So. Oh, Fairsies, Fairsies, man, Fairsies, <laughs> man. Listen, all these extra guests and stuff coming on the pod, all this, all this talent gracing us to talk about these topics this week. Y'all need to rate this shit five stars, real quick. Hey, make sure I go. You that's know what I'm saying? Apple to Spotify, rate it five stars. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell somebody. Go tell your grandmother. Then tell us again to go tell some more people. Rate that shit five stars. We here. All right. Uh, we got like, a lot like, of topics like to get it, through. Like it on we'll, we'll talk Facts. To, uh, channel. Facts. Don't, don't and like that. it on we'll talk to channel. Facts. Do not forget yes, that, man. You you know you know what time it is, man. You know what time it is. All right. Uh, we got a lot of topics to get through, but uh, as we do on no cool down, we like to warm up a little bit first. Even though there is no cool down after that shit, I know. But hey, listen, Grizz, you ready? Yeah. What's up, Charles? You ready? I'm ready. When you ready? I'm born ready. Let's warm up then. All right. First story of the day. Uh, so in, in a statement earlier today, actually this morning, Sucker Punch Studios came out and dispelled all the rumors and chatter of potential comebacks for two of their major IPs. Now, they stated that they are focused on their next project that's in the works right now. And while the door will not be closed forever, they said they have no current plans to revisit the infamous or Sly Cooper series at the moment. So, uh, well, for one thing, uh, Sweet, when I, I, I got, I, I got, cry. I got Sorry. cash out. <laughs> we'll get to you in a second, Charles. I'm gonna say, like, what? Uh, when I have cash app, I have, uh, you know, I have uh, Zell. Get your dollar, bro. Uh, yeah. get your dollar, dog. <laughs> that was I, quick, baby. I Let's forgot go. what I bet. Until Y'all put this a bet morning. Yeah, I, I bet. I was like, it'll, it'll be Sly Cooper or something that's gonna get announced, and Ooh. I don't know. Why? Because I'm usually like not thinking that something good is gonna happen, and I guess I was on something on Friday because I bet that Sly <laughs> Cooper would get announced when I know damn well we're gonna be disappointed. So I will give uh-huh. you your dollar, sir. Yeah, no, hey, listen, I'll take that. I'll take that, man. You know what I'm saying? It might be like a dollar oh six to avoid the tax. You know, inflation is just crazy. I just need a dollar, but you know, <laughs> listen, I don't, hey, I don't know who these apps moving nowadays. I don't know who these apps moving. But anyways, man, let's open let's open the floor up, man. Charles, you, you almost walked up. How do you feel about uh, Infamous and Sly Cooper getting the boot for now? I'll just say this: Sly Cooper is my favorite game franchise ever. Sly wow. Two is my favorite video game of life um and for don't get me wrong i i appreciate ratchet and clank having the the shine and the buzz that and popularity that it does now i just feel like sly cooper deserves some of that shine 
Um, the the series was great. The story was fantastic. Um, I feel like if you bring back Sly Cooper, not only do you revamp your core core fans, but you bring in new people who are, of course, younger, who didn't get to experience Sly Cooper in a remastered format. Bro, you're just asking people to give you money. In my mind, that makes perfect sense, but I guess it didn't fit the business model, unfortunately. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. it's, Chris, it's sad. You, it's sad. I'm about to say, Chris, how you feeling about this? They getting dropped like that? <sighs> Man, um, you know the way Charles feels about Sly Cooper is how I feel about Infamous. You know, um, you know, um, my uncle had his PS3, and I would sneak in to play infamous mm. um and you know um not to lie i brought a ps4 strictly for infamous three <laughs> strictly um so to hear that you know i'm not gonna get these games on the next gen system um after we had a break from them for so long it's kind of devastating mm. i'm not gonna lie and yeah. you know the thing about infamous three right Infamous one and two, you know, we had the same protagonist, mm -hmm. same powers, you know, they just they just added to whatever. Infamous three showed me that, like, especially with the DLC that came out, it showed Last me light. that these dudes can make any power a game about anybody with any power. Like, mm -hmm. I thought we was gonna keep getting the same. Super I think wide. his name was Cole, right? Yeah, right. First Cole. one was Cole. Yeah, yeah the first one was like, Cole McGrath. Yeah, other one was, like, was Delson. Okay. We're gonna keep getting powers. Yo, I thought we were gonna just keep the getting the electricity powers, and I couldn't understand that got fried. But mm. they was like infamous three, yo, we're gonna do something completely different. I'm like, wow, this opens up, they can do anything now. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I don't know. I I just kind of miss those days of those third person uh superhero action games, you know, prototype, infamous, those shout out games. prototype, shout out prototype. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. those were kind of my favorite games in my, you know, uh, early teen years, 15, mm -hmm. 16. So I don't know. I just think this is kind of like a, I'm, I'm, co I'm conflicted because I, they're getting a new IP, which is one thing I always complain about in the game space. No new mm -hmm. IPs. It's just really disgusting. We have to lose two loved IPs to get one new one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel that. When, when, how you feeling? Um, like I said in the in the last episode, it to me it's kind of like it is what it is. Whatever this new IP, um, sure. But like now that people know what you sacrificed for for this said IP, it's gonna be met with criticism. I'm excited to see what it is. Hopefully, it's something that can fill the void that we've been missing from both of these IPs. But I'm gonna just let I'm gonna let them I'm gonna let them cook. Sure, you show yeah. me and I'll let you know how I feel. But I right now I'm not really in a happy spot with uh with Sucker Punch. Whatever yeah. this game that they're doing has to be listen I'll ten out of ten right. crazy. You know this is information they just did not have to tell us either. That's they, the crazy they part. They shouldn't they, they shouldn't have said this, but people kept asking. That's the thing though. You know you know gaming fans, bro. They're not gonna let it go. But and I know sometimes I'm in the same place. I'm in the same bucket too. Sometimes I'll be like, "Hey, where's where's that though? Where's where's that dog? You know what I'm saying? You couldn't tell us. Bro. Go ahead, y'all. But like, no, on that on that fact that people keep asking proves that there is a demand. Like, and you're mm -hmm. not listening. You're not listening. You're you're clearly not listening. Mm -hmm. I understand you want to create a new IP. You want to start fresh. Uh, take a chance. Take a leap of faith. But like, yo, you could do that. But mm. still give us either Sly Cooper or Infamous, like Grizz said, in Infamous mm -hmm. uh three or Second Son, they created a whole new power set for our, our MC. Mm. And you can do the same thing for this new game. Like, don't get me wrong, I feel like if y'all didn't make Watch Dogs, then we could have got some great games. Like if Watch Dogs make... No, um well, I'm not not make, but if Watch Dogs I hot take kind of didn't get mm. the love that it, it got then mm. we would have these ips but and then no, watchdog right. legion fumbling kind of like i think messed it up for like sony sucker punch as mm. well because Le legion did not do well unfortunately mm -hmm. so, so yeah. are you saying like that just um, the genre companies are probably are that, afraid that to, genre to, to, to dope into their genre. okay yeah. yes okay i, I, I think 
I think Legion was the the straw mm. on the camel's back that said, "All right, we can't really do anything like this anymore." Um, in like an infamous style game, mm. and I think that also because infamous is related to the success of Sucker Punch Sly Cooper. Mm. Sly Cooper got brought in as well. It's like, you know what? We mm. got to take a chance and step back. So maybe yeah. on the business side, there's something right. about these yeah. games that we don't know. Like maybe there's rights to infamous character or the name I... infamous. Mm. Maybe Sly Cooper's rights are jumbled up. Maybe the publishing has about like, because who published Sly Cooper? I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, like, I can tell you. Yeah, you know, so maybe the publisher yeah. has like fifty percent rights to Sly Cooper and Sucker Punch is like we publish games now. Sony. Really yeah, it was Sony yeah, it was all Sony. Yeah, it's all under Sony. Sony. Yeah, it's all under Sony. Oh, that, then yeah, I don't yeah, know. I I I I know. I will tell you. Let me let me jump in. No, no, no. Let me jump in. Let me jump in. I got you. This is this is why I think that they're going the route that they're going. Okay, so over the past few years, especially the last couple, we've seen PlayStation have this initiative of we want to have PlayStation in every ecosystem beyond gaming. They want to go beyond gaming. They want to go to TV. They want to go to movies. They want to have these big, expansive franchise and IPs that people can recognize, whether it be toys, games, movies, TV screen, blah, blah, blah. I feel like that they're creating this focus, this narrow, a bit of a narrow-minded focus, a bit of a, you know, a fixation on getting major IPs into those spaces. Last of Us, you see they're making a TV show. They're making a follow-up game to, to capitalize on that marketing ploy of, you know, the Last of Us TV show being out, then the multiplayer, then the all the remake and, and stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah. That, yes. Another, Naughty, Naughty Dog, yeah, most of yes. Naughty Dog's time, <laughs> exact, ex, you know what I'm saying? Like, who gives who give a Can't wait you know to play the same game a fourth time. <laughs> exactly, bro. But you see how most of their time is being wrapped up around that whole IP because they want to push it in every medium. Mm -hmm. You see how God of War is about to go. Ragnarok's coming. They said they slated a TV show that's on the way. They're wrapping all their time for Santa Monica into that. And I think it's going to happen to them too, but with Ghost of Tsushima. That's why mm. I said Ghost Tsushima 2 is going to be on the way. That's the IP of the working on. I don't think it's necessarily going to be new. I'm not mad at Ghost Tsushima, but they've already slated a TV show. They've already slated the sequel, which I think is going to be that next game. And they're starting to wrap up their time to make this expansive major IP mm. that everybody can get into. They're going to do it with Horizon. You know what I'm saying? They're doing they're doing it with God of They're doing it with God of War. They already like like it's it's gonna be like in turns, bro. That everybody has their whole fill. You see, they just started with Uncharted. They just had the mm. whole Uncharted thing that just came through in theaters and movie, stuff. And that was like was the first, the first little range. You know what I'm saying? Like, you. you but um, regardless of reception, regardless of reception, <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying they're still gonna make that push, and that's why some of these IPs that people want to come back or they want new IPs, they're gonna suffer because mm. PlayStation's focus now, to me. Is going to be making these 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 you know the starting five players or the starting eleven in a football match mm. make them as big as they possibly can be without worrying about developing the young talent. That's what I think it is. It's it's yeah, more this is so an interesting take trip. Yeah, I, because I, I, I just okay, think it pulls okay. together like that. No, no, I, I just think it pulls together like that from what we've seen over the last few IPs getting pushed in mm. media in general, not just games, and how PlayStation has been moving towards you know again just different markets. They've been real aggressive on TV on TV scheduling, mm -hmm. like scheduling series. They've been like mad aggressive on you know PC stuff. They've been trying to get as far out as possible. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to get in, into as many different lanes as possible to make sure that PlayStation brand is recognizable everywhere and it's like attributable everywhere. You know what I'm saying? They mm -hmm. want those brands to be global household names, and that just feeds back into their major stars. You know what I mean? And that's why so, that's what focus is going to be on, like, smaller IPs or IPs that haven't been, like, uh, you know, emergent in a while, like, uh, you mm -hmm. know, like an infamous, like um, a Sly Cooper. So to, to feed off of that, um, that IP as far as specifically God of War, mm. they took a chance. Mm -hmm. the, the, the space and the time between the last major um, God of War game, God of War 3, mm -hmm. versus um, the new current RPG style um god of war mm. they took a chance on a care on a character and a game format that they didn't know how the reception was going to be but they they took somebody that was a fan favorite in kratos and they said we can make a, a revival of sony with this mm. character i don't understand why they keep doing this for uncharted i don't and I feel like if you take Nathan Drake, I'm sorry, hot take, I know. If you take Nathan Drake out of here, 
give us Sly Cooper the same way you should be giving us Jack and Daxter. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you know, I don't, wrong. Under, I don't understand the chokehold that Nathan Drake but, has on like video know, games, but, you, but they need to take a chance and restyle these you, formats. You, these you know, you say that right, and I'm start when Trip said that. So what he said, it got me thinking, right? Okay. Uh, you ever heard the concept, like, in anime, right? Anime are nothing but 12-episode commercials to sell merch. Yeah. Make people read yeah. the manga. Uh, I've heard that before. Make people buy figures, et cetera, et cetera, right? So Trip saying that kind of sparked in me, like, damn, okay. That is a good point because the – the if we focus on one singular thing, we can make this multiverse to have people who are not hip to the game come back and buy the game, right? Mm-hmm. Which is which is sick, but it makes sense. If I have a PS5, I never played Last of Us. I see the show, I watch the show. I'm like, damn, I want to play the game. Oh, this come from a game. I got a PS5. Go on there, buy it on PS5. Now they have a new fan. Now is that a very expensive way, backwards way of doing that? Maybe, but you know, I mean, it creates this ecosystem for them now. Yeah. No facts. What you said, Charles, makes also sense, but this is the difference. I'm starting to see a pattern with the games that are kind of blowing up in the Sony space. They're very, I'm not gonna say grounded, but they have like this rustic type of vibe. Horizon. Uh, Shishima. That's the the survival uh, element, the gritty survival, survival element, gritty, rough and tough type of vibe. Maybe Sly Cooper doesn't fit that model for them anymore. I mean, you know? don't get me wrong. No, I mean it's a it's a pure stealth game, so I understand that. But, but like, not, even, it, not but, even that though. I'm talking about like the sale shading, the cartoon. Because no, he like, the art like the the style. No, in the art, style. If, if we're going art style, like art style. I think Sly Cooper is literally perfect because like don't if if the entire business model is to mainly sell toys because mm. we know toys are probably the biggest um commodity when it comes to these businesses. Sly Cooper is perfect and you have a trio of three heroes, Sly Cooper, mm. Bentley and Murray and it's like what are we doing? These are the most I think attractive art styles for children to sell toys. I have a I have a raccoon, I have a turtle, and I have a giant hippopotamus. <laughs> and you're telling me that you think that Nathan Drake is more attractive to children than these like cartoonish animals doesn't make sense in my mind. But, but I, I, but I, I don't I think they aim. I don't think mm-hmm. they aim it for the kids. I think they're aiming for the 16, 14 to six, 18 year old kid who. Uh, mm-hmm. I fuck up over the package. My bad. I think he put the. He's been exposing his male line on fire. <laughs> I think the aim for the 14 to uh, 18 year old demographic who is going to grow up to the 21 to 28 year old to buy the game. Mm. Um, maybe they're not aiming for the 8 to 10 year old kid like they were back in the day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, which. Sony ideas probably if we have one studio focus on one game and maximize on this one game, then maybe you know this would be the banger and we can have it into the ecosystem. Like if you think about it, Sony has had five consistent bangers that they could keep pumping out for the next ten years: mm-hmm. Horizon, Ghost of Tsushima, God Wait. of War, mm-hmm. Uncharted, Last of Us. Mm-hmm. Wait, what happened? I will say this um, to back up Charles's point, because um, I, I understand what you guys are saying about the rustic look um, mm-hmm. and it being like, yo, this is what they're trying to do. Um, Rats and Clank is still very much a big Sony Very flashlight. much. Yeah, very that's, much. That's, what, that's what I say, but I, I had a point for that. I had a point <laughs> yeah. for that. Well, are, they point making, for like, that are, they making, are they making are they making that in like the big the starting lineup? You know what I mean? Look at they the just made a movie make, though. They just they, I they mean did. that that in real time. Listen. Yes, that's true. But you know what I'm saying? Okay, so look it's like that fills up the game fills up the slice. Look at the support the movie got. They're not really they're not really talked about. Maybe that was them risking. But I will say mm. this though, I will say this, Ratchet and Clank came out before Uncharted. That was the first movie yeah. that got put no, off. I'm hip, I'm hip, I'm hip. Yeah. I, this, this business model, this new idea that Trip is kind of theorizing, could have been for the last five years. 
You know what I mean? Like, and if we already had Ratchet and Clank in develop, uh, Ratchet and Clank in development, right? Might as well put it out for the new system. You know what I'm saying? Try to get some nostalgia money. Try to get some kids if we can, but not right. in in 2020. Mm, this don't bro, really, the or 2022. La, the, bro, this don't fit our model no more. May 10th, 2016. We don't need this no more. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> I don't need no more nostalgia hey, listen, for this goddamn the franchise. Cra- listen, I'm it's sorry. money now. They made too much money now. Listen, I'm, you see, you see, it's just like a, it's like a cash cow cycle to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, okay, listen, one brand's gonna be heavy in prominence. All right, Uncharted already had their time in the sun. They already were the cash cow for some at some point in time. You know what I'm saying? They'll drop a movie. Mm-hmm. They'll come back eventually and get their bag. But whatever. That happened. They now it's like a whole rematch. You know what I'm saying? PS5. And then God of War really? had a st- God of War had a stick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they was all out in the sun, and they'll probably come back with Ragnarok, and then the TV show that they'll drop. That's cool. But it, it, they sub in and sub out. Right now it's Last of Us time, bro. You see, Last of Us going to drop in the fall with the remake. It's oh, their time to be the big cash game, cow and I leading the line. It. You know what I'm saying? Like Uncharted, though. I'm I'm just saying it's 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 that cycle of the big brands making their presence and expand. They're trying to expand on the biggest brands that they have instead of I hear actually I hear work that. on the IPs you know, that are maybe forgotten or are left behind. That's all. That's all I gotta say on that. But right, no, I, 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 I agree. Move, I agree. We gotta move forward, y'all. Agree. Hold on. I don't agree with their business. Gris, 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 last thing. Gris, last thing. Go ahead. Oh, um, you know, subconsciously talking about this made me realize why I don't play Sony games as much as I used to. I don't want to see rustic ass fighting games. I don't want to. Mm. I don't want to play. I tried to play Horizon, bro. I was like, bro. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> you, you know. Do you know what would change that? What? A great stealth game with a fantastic you know, hey, story. Hey, they not, listen, listen. They, they said it's gone, gone, bro. It's with gone. You. You know what no, I need? Man, no. I, I need Blinks. Y'all remember Blinks the cat? Blinks? Yeah, that's, a a throw, that's a throw. That's a throw. Please. Please. <laughs> Blinks. <laughs> bro. Get this man his medicine. He's delusional. Oh, my <laughs> this man said Blinks. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Listen, bro. It's going to be all, all right, right, Grandpa. Yeah, no. It's going to be all right. Listen, we'll, 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 we'll spin back to this another day, but Sucker Punch, man. That's that's wild, bro. That's wild. We're going we gonna to move on, man. Wait, make sure you got my dollar, man. Uh, anyways, I, I got <laughs> but uh, see, we only one topic in. Look at that, they pouring a soul out, bro. That's why I bring guests on here. That's why we do this, man. Look at look at these wonderful guests. We only one topic in, bro. That's 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 value, there. man. Rate it five stars, five stars. Stop playing five with me, man. man. Thanks. All right, on to the next topic. This is just a a, a pretty like little funny story. So um. It was like this Nintendo investor call that happened, I think maybe a week or two ago. And yeah. someone basically just got on the call to ask a question and they were just pressing him over F Zero. So like it, he literally just like stopped. He got his time to speak. He was like, Hey, um, so what's happening with F Zero, guys? What's what's going on with that? And um, so they found the guy who he, he chose to he chose to remain anonymous and he only goes by the name Momiji. Uh, by the seams, mm-hmm. and he basically invested forty thousand dollars or five point six million yen to get 100 shares, which is the minimum buy-in to like actually be on those investor calls. And he did all of that just to ask about F-Zero. He's a diehard fan. He said he feels the speed. You know what I'm saying? He was really, <laughs> he was really for F-Zero, and he went this way just to ask about it. How do y'all feel about that, man? What a this is, this, this is the type of dedication we need in the gaming industry as fans. This is that type of energy. You need to be the change that you want to see. That's a chat move, bro. <laughs> Man, bro, that is, that is 40k bro. to bro. press out investors. I love a whole it. Whole year salary. I it's love just like, it. yo, what are we doing, y'all? That's tough. <laughs> Shout out to my man. Crazy, Shout out bro. to my man. Yo, we need another F Zero, bro. <laughs> I think the last one was on GameCube, bro. And and I think so. oh yeah, it was on GameCube. It was. Yeah. Bro, that game was adrenaline racing, bro. I loved mm-hmm. F Zero, bro. I love and you know the crazy thing is I only play F Zero because of Captain Falcon. I'm like, what game is yeah. this? Yo, like, facts. Mm-hmm. And in the in that point, I don't think that an F Zero will ever be successful. <laughs> I, 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 oh my now, god. No now, now I know, I know. I sounds crazy. Captain Falcon, in my opinion, will only be popular again in Smash. I don't Damn. think there's a, I don't think there's any That's media form crazy. in which Captain Falcon will be successful. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to Mo go there. Momiji about like, to come I, smack the shit out you. He's about to drop the game. Hey, on the hey, facts. Hey. facts. Hey, yo, hey, yo, facts, bro. Hey, you can, you can hit us up on the PayPal. Momiji, you know what I'm saying? Hey, don't get wrong. I, no, I cool love F0. Pod at gmail.com. Hit us. Hit us. I, hit us. I loved F0, but I don't think that it will 
thrive oh. in a, in a in a in a in a culture that's an updated an updated switch title i feel like people will go crazy for honestly i think bro, it, 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 it hit a good stride we got it hit a good stride i don't know we got mario kart uh, okay but know. see but it's mario not the same kart, game but it's 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 it's, just, it's not the same it, but it's the same bro it, 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 it feels a different niche though right mm-hmm. like the what f-zero be nostalgia, sure no 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 i'm not even gonna say nostalgia f-zero will will hit it won't be a hit like a new mario game obviously if, if you're saying that i 100 percent agree with you but for the niche one to two million people who love f-zero bro who want who have a need for speed who like sonic games it's gonna get a bag it might catch you, a little you know, bag but but sonic i mean captain falcon's not sonic but you know what nintendo should have done what? in that new um expansion pass that they were, were uh, doing i forgot what it's called for the nintendo um we should put it in there put that mm. in there and you yeah. would have made a get, lot of get, people happy you get your metrics too to see how many people True. are interested in exactly. the game. Yeah, but, they, but they you already know how they are about any of their it's old catalog test, bro yeah. you know you know they're not gonna put any of their stuff from the old catalog on the e-shop or nothing not a damn thing unless they like do it in I, right I, specific I, I, I right. Zero, bro. Uh, I you just love those type of games bro it like the it it's you know I like to feel something when I'm playing video games. I feel that. And F Zero is an adrenaline rush, bro. You mm. like the game just feels like it's moving fast, and you just like every split decision. And mm. I don't know, man. I, I, you know, I was talking to one of the homies. It's funny that this story came up because I was talking to the one of the homies. And I said, bro, F Zero on Switch would be crazy. He was like, yeah, we never get that. My boy never. Momija felt. My, my man Momiji. How you say it? Mo, Momija? Yeah, Momiji. 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 My man Momiji felt the same way as me, man. <laughs> I gotta shout out the super chat, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of things you can do with 40K, but. Um, <laughs> to ask a question, though. To ask, to ask a question, a question bro. Mm. You could have went to Reddit for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna I mean lie. granted, you know, and, he and is a major question. shareholder now. Facts. Yeah. He got. He got yeah. Yeah. I mean, he had his question. Like, he had his concern. Yeah. He had his concern. All right. He he, he had his he has, company. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. Come on. Let's be real. But yeah. no, like, don't give me. But don't get me wrong though. Don't get me wrong. I I think that um, Momiji, big yes. dick energy, big yeah. dick yeah. energy. Drop forty seconds to ask the question, bro. I, I respect it. Like that man is goaded. Like put him Listen. in the the fandom hall of fame. Like that man should have a statue of himself in Facts. front of Nintendo, like on a computer asking, where is F-Zero, bro? He put, he put, he he put racks up. He put racks he up put to ask racks a question. Up. Just to ask a question. That's, that's, bro, different. that's different. I respect, that. I respect different. that. Money talks. Money talks, bro. Super Money fucking chair, bro. And now Not he lying. owns part of the company. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. Facts. That's balling on a different level, man. Shout out to Momiji. We out there, man. We see you. We see you. All right, moving on to the last story of the warm-up. So uh, chatters going around over the past few days that EA may be working on a brand new Marvel game. So, uh, you know, things have been real tight-lipped. There haven't been really any other rumors that have like, leaked out or seeped out over this mm-hmm. stuff. But, you know what I'm saying, it might be tinfoil hat time. I just want to know from y'all, what do you think? What studio should get this game at EA, and what nice. game should it be? Okay, so listen, I agree. Listen. Argues your dice, man. Dice. Okay, so give, so your studios dice. So what's the game? Studios what's... dice, and it's gonna be a, a Agents of Shield uh, war game where you're fighting Hydra. <laughs> that would go, yeah. go kind of crazy. Okay, <laughs> this man's gonna make Avengers Battlefront. <laughs> Avengers Battlefront one. You are Agents of does, Shield, but that doesn't sound crazy. crazy. I'm not gonna lie. It could be like a, it could be a little third person blicky, like you know what I mean, like a. You know, you're more of a spy, kind of like you doing background work with Black Widow where you're reporting to Nick Fury. You know, do some, do some different mm. shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that, hey, listen. Okay, I, okay imagine this. Let me, right, imagine interesting. this. Interesting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Imagine Let's set this. Humor. Sell it. Sell it. It could be uh, Fallen Order, right? Mm. That's not made by Dice. That's not, I, I know, I know, I know, but it's made by EA. It's published yeah, by EA, no, right? No, okay. Yeah, respawn. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Respawn. Okay, yeah. so Fallen Order mixed with a Battlefield game. <laughs> Nigga, how Battle difficult Park? is that going to be? I know how you feel about your Battlefield, Win. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, no, but I'm saying that would be Battlefront. Fallen Order right. and Battlefield would be Battlefront. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a Boom. nice game. Boom. That, yeah. There we go. So okay, so you just circled around all that to say <laughs> Avengers Battlefront, <laughs> Avengers Battlefront one. 
But a storyline, though. But a storyline. All right. Okay. 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 Storyline. That's why but I said an actual, with an actual narrative. Fairsies. Yeah. Fairsies. Okay. Okay. That's that. That seems interesting, man. All right, mm-hmm. Charles. You got the thinking cap on, man. What's what's going on? So, what's the studio and what type of game or what's the game focused on? All right. I think Loki. I I would. Oh. All right. It's a good character. Loki. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, I would. Uh, I would trust. Despite despite the last game failure. Bioware, right? Okay. Bioware oh, a as a, a let me see. I think Bioware would kill a karmic based um Marvel game. Mm-hmm. So if this is like Spider Man finds uh um uh, the symbiote for the first time, I think they will go crazy on a karmic based Spider Man game. Mm. Um. Let me see. I think they can also do really well at a, like an ultimate alliance type game, um, where they have you know team synergies. You grab heroes, uh, combos. I think Bioware go crazy as long as they didn't do open world, or just to do any type of open world. What about Mass Effect? But you're a, a new recruit of the at Avengers. Shield, at Shield, now, that would go crazy. Now, listen, would, this is this is all I'm gonna say. As long as there's enough space after Mass Effect Four, leave. Let them develop Mass Effect first, and then we can speak on this. That's my only like caveat. I'm not gonna lie. Just let them do what they do on Mass Effect. Random hot take: Mass Effect, the drama that has some of the best combat ever. But oh no, that's a no, 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 no. From what I, from what I've heard, from what I've heard, people said that's the best in the series of the gameplay in terms of like actually best just, yeah. gameplay ever. Just yeah. story, gameplay, was, I mean, gameplay. Story was there. There we go. Yeah, gameplay. That's but why yeah. people make the that's why people make the distinction. I gotta play for myself still, but that's what like since since it dropped, that's what I heard. Like everybody said, the gameplay was like mm. super fire. That's the best they've ever felt. I don't hear that. Like, I don't hear enough people say that. That's which is problem. tough. Because niggas always shitting on the story. Yeah, it's way funner to shit on something than it is to talk good about what it about the good parts. Agreed. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When how make you feel? Fast, it would be. Ah, man, I don't want anybody touching anything on that side. Um, <laughs> no, literally, literally. Um, <laughs> fucking, we'll do respawn. Are right, you gonna give me respawn? And we're gonna go respawn and fuck this is tough because like there's just a lot of marvel ips that i would really like but i just don't know how well they could pull it off oh i'm gonna go respawn i'm gonna go wolverine and we're gonna go with the story arc of him losing his healing factor like that would be like the 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 plot because Mm. obviously he's a broken ass character so you wouldn't be able to like oh he heals everything what's the fucking point right Mm. Like the whole point is like he lost the healing factor kind of like in the movie and like you're just slowly getting it back and you're getting your character that would go crazy when that would go crazy it would be i'm sorry wait right now it's like like, like, jedi fallen order but like yeah 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 Mm. Yeah, jedi fallen order with wolverine um (laughs) healing factor reduced significantly to the point where like Mm. he can he can die or whatever and like that that's how he comes back to life is like he heals himself up and finds himself back at a safe point or whatever the fuck is like that's Mm. the way that works that would go crazy. That'd be cool. Mm. That'd be cool. But and I don't want to d- make it any game. Some, exactly. I had some doubts with Respawn, then I forgot they did Fall in Order. I was like, oh, now, if yeah. you give me, you give me a fucking uh, uh, a Platinum Games Wolverine game, then it's not even a fucking question. But uh, yeah, that's, yeah, it's not, that's not EA. That's, EA that's, that would be crazy. Avengers though. football. Oh bro, my god. Avengers Street. Avengers Street. I want to the play. You got, game where he's like, you got Hulk oh, running run, run the halfback. You got the Hulk running halfback, nigga. <laughs> oh, the whole game would be Avenger crazy with dice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh my They're gosh. Destructible environments and shit. Yeah, dice. The whole game would be sick, but that'll never happen. What Yellow about you, buddy, man. Oh man. This is very, very tough, man. This is tough because. Yeah, again, like you said, I don't want any of these dudes touching this right now, bro. It's too hot on that side. It's way too hot on that side, bro. Like, I wouldn't call yourself using, you know what I'm saying, using trouble right now. Um, I will say this, though. I would like a darker toned game, or at least something that has some type of darker action to it. So I would say Motive. Motive is an EA studio that did, I believe, they did the campaign for Star Wars, like the, 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 in, in, Inferno Squad with the one chick. Uh, I think that was Battlefront mm. Two. I think that was the actual story for Battlefront Two or something else. I, I think it was Battlefront Two though, but I could be wrong. 
Um, that and then they're doing the Dead Space remake. So they're there, right? Mm-hmm. If they can do a darker, grittier story, and I would like the Punisher. If they can get it right, a Punisher game that's a, you know a bit of a darker tone and that quality that they've been dealing with. Again, they they have the the quality and fidelity in that in the the Star Wars single player campaigns and stuff that they were working on Battlefront. Like they had that experience, and then they have the darker, grittier tone with the you know the Dead Space that they're working on. At least some of the 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 foundations of it. If they can mesh some of the two and really get the gunplay down, a Punisher story, a Punisher game would kind of go crazy. That's my that's my thought. Mm, Punisher game. I didn't even mm-hmm. think about that. And see, that's the thing about EA though. A lot of EA do they make shooting games a lot, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. like so it should be in their wheelhouse somewhat. Yeah. What Max Payne Punisher type beat? I, see, I, 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 Max Payne's already getting remade, so I'm not going to ask for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, you know, yeah. unless they straight copy it, I'm like, ah, whatever. But can, I, can, let me ask you a, a question mm-hmm. though. Do I think Marvel is kind of frying their IPs by giving it to so many studios? Somewhat, uh, somewhat, yeah. yes. They need to yeah, be more selective, definitely. and I think they learned their lesson a little bit with uh, they learned a lesson with uh, Crystal Dynamics. They learned that lesson very, 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 I, very. I quickly. feel like uh, they just like I know they just handed that, it off. Yeah, that uh, Marvel Second Sons game coming out. Oh yeah, the Midnight Suns. Yep, Midnight, Midnight Suns is Sons, coming. Second Sons, Midnight Suns. Yeah. No, you good. Um, there's uh the Wolverine game coming out. The Spider Man game coming out. Um, it's like so oh, many Marvel shit. properties coming yeah. out, right? That's three I would, right there. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, trust them. About the Marvel's Avengers mm. game that's already out. Already out. I need keep doing yeah. updates for. Yep. Uh, what's it called? Also, also, I wouldn't trust Galaxy. Like, so yeah. good, so good. Fact, that was Literally playing game. it right now. And I feel like, and again, it's so only going to accelerate because it's like it's like the PlayStation shit. I want to say everybody wants to be in every type of media vehicle, so they're go- only going to do this more and more. But they need to be more selective of who they pick. For yeah, IP stuff, EA is very random. Yeah, like, because you get a respawn, and the other time you get a, a 2042. Sorry, sorry, went my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit's really spotty. It's really spotty with them. I'd yeah. say, but yeah, EA All sports right. adventure game. Fuck it. <laughs> EA no, sports. Why? Why do you want sports? Not. And- absolutely not. What's that to do with anything? <laughs> anyway, nothing at all. Listen, listen, we were- the, listen, listen, ho. A oh, day at the gosh. Avengers compound. Hulk, uh, Captain America's like, yo, let's play some football. <laughs> this thing <single> what? <laughs> you got Nick Fury throwing one one eye passes. Captain like America it. would suggest baseball first. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, MLB, America, America sport. <laughs> MLB Avengers game. MLB, <laughs> MLB Avengers. <laughs> Niggas hitting your shit at ten thousand miles per hour, bro. Oh my gosh, I'm 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 move, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm not gonna let him suggest any more EA related <laughs> Avenger right, titles. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! All right, all right. On to the main stories to, for the day. That was the war up. Uh, so yeah, let's go through it, man. Uh, we had a Nintendo Direct Mini that popped up midweek and it had some stuff in store. So we're just gonna uh, detail some of the big drops. Of course, there are gonna be some uh, things that we do not mention. Don't worry if it's your favorite game that we did not mention. Uh, it, it was probably bad. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. Uh, no, I was playing with you. But yeah, <laughs> we just going to talk about some of the major announcements that happened, starting with Near Automata, the end of Yorha Switch port. Uh, that new edition is coming October 6th for the Switch. How y'all feel about that one? Put as many on many systems that need be. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. You know, I haven't played Near Automata. Maybe now I'll play it. I don't know. Yeah. Like, no, you no, just keep I, playing I, it in front of me. Maybe I might. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days like, you'll make it. That's that's what these companies are thinking. They're like, okay, one of these gotta hit. <laughs> one of these are gonna hit, and I'm not gonna lie. I was like, damn, you know, I, I haven't played there on a monitor, but if I could play it on the go, maybe, you know, just put it down. Just if put they, it if down. They drop a, if they drop a demo, I check it out. You and know. listen, and you know, game. me saying this, we're gonna get into it because me and Wynn had a little back and forth about a game on this list. Mm-hmm. But after he put the idea in my head. That's how I feel about Nier Automata now. But we'll talk mm-hmm. about it as we continue. Well, yeah. But yeah, like this, yeah. We'll just, we'll keep it simple for this unless we need to go deeper, deeper in detail. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cop drop, yes, no. I'm about to say, uh, uh, about to... I, already, I already own it. Cop. No, oh, yeah. I watched somebody. I watched somebody. I was going to play it on somebody. PC. 
my play it on Switch. Who knows? Yeah. I'm just afraid. <laughs> I'm just afraid it's going to run, uh, you know, 24 like, frames a second. Like yeah, a and I, I would not. Yeah, I would not want to run that <laughs> game in slideshow format. I would not want to run it in PowerPoint. Uh, that shit yeah, crazy. Come on, man. Mm-mm. I, I would get all 28 endings or how many endings? 26. To all 26 endings, man. I can't wait. Yeah, that's that's a lot. That's a lot. But yeah, uh, next up we had Lorelai and the Laser Eyes. It was like some really interesting uh aesthetic game. It's like made for like a murder mystery slash like puzzle type thing. It was coming twenty twenty three. Uh, how how y'all how y'all feel about that? Cop drop indifference. Disease. I'll cop on Steam. I'm, I'm, I'm not falling. copying on Switch. That shit looks boring as hell, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. To me, I have yeah, I have a thing about like puzzle games. Like I want the biggest screen possible mm-hmm. when I'm playing a like a puzzle game, and I just wouldn't play it on the Switch. You know, it's funny we talk about puzzle games. Literally, the conversation we had before. Mm-hmm. Guys, know how I feel about puzzle games. Mm-hmm. So. I'm with you. I'm with you. Can't I'm wait. You right can't there. wait to not play it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't wait to just see it pass me by, boy. I tell you, but Big no, I'll say. I will say the aesthetic does look interesting though. It's child, no, the, 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 some of the art style looks like actually pretty like pretty dope. So cool, they but got not me. for me. Yeah, not for me personally. <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, I'm maybe, not maybe copying, I'll, but yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe somebody might play it and I'll be interested to play it. But you know, we'll see. Um, moving down the line, we have Super Bomberman R2. Uh, so this new Bomberman game is coming to the Switch with a new castle mode, which is described as a 15v1 mode where one person defends the treasures of his castle on the map while all the other people try to get them. Uh, coming out 2023. How y'all feel about that one? That's a fun good. fact. Bomberman That's That's is one of my favorite character designs ever. A good um, character. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not going to play it, but... <laughs> I'd play it. I'd, I'd, I'd play hop it. and play it. Yeah, you started like, like that. Uh, <laughs> the problem is, I'll I'll play it and then I'll never play it again. Yeah, that's my biggest but, fear about yeah, a lot of games. Yeah, it, but it looks really, really good. It's though. good. Yeah, it looks so yeah. solid. It if, good if I can get it is, for like six dollars, yeah, if this is a, this a is keeper. a peer. This is a this is a peer pressure buy, bro. This is a peer pressure buy. Mm-hmm. If y'all are on it, and y'all have it too much fun. I'm y'all like, let, let me let me let me cop that. Let me slide this over there, mm-hmm. bro. But mm-hmm. I will say, Bomberman is honestly it was like in them Flash game PC days. That was that was like my top three games that I played with my like, brother, bro. Like oh, yeah. we cool, went bro. nonstop on Bomberman, all them stages, bro. It was crazy. But shout out to Bomberman. Um, Facts. next up. We had a banger, like a whole haymaker come out the cut because this Mega Man Battle Network Collection is launching on the Switch next year. Pretty much 10 Battle Network games. I think it was one, two, three, both of fours. I think it was I think it was like two five, two of five. Yeah. Like the thing about the Mega Man collections, if you don't know, the Battle Network games started doing the Pokemon thing where they started yeah, releasing they the same teams. game but with different yeah. things. So mm-hmm. like it's ten games, but some of them will have the same story. Same line. story. Yeah, line. roughly. Just yeah. Different there's different, a couple yeah, different things. Yeah. Uh How y'all feeling? fire, bro. I, yeah. I I was a big fan of these as a kid. Um yeah, why not play it on the Switch? The Switch is damn near perfect for this game. And, no, uh, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Uh, really? Uh, really? Oh, you're about to say No, 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 It's absolutely a cop. Up. But this, no, no, this is why I <laughs> say that, like, Sly Cooper will be successful because they're bringing back an old IP and look how it's booming, bro. All the buzz that it's getting, bro. If you do this with Sly Cooper, bro, like, come on, dog. I'm going to just say this um, about Mega Man Battle Network. There were so many, like, remakes and re... Not remakes, but, like, uh, companies making that type of game yeah, to yeah. fill this void. Yeah, It would be so stupid for Nintendo not to be like, hey... Then uh, not to make another one, like, actually put this time into that. Now it's not... Bro, that's not Mighty Number like 9, this... this. This mm-hmm. weird third party type of thing. It was like it was very similar. Mm-hmm. Uh Rashad put me all to it. And I was playing this job. I'm like, damn, bro, I really missed the old battle network games. Mm-hmm. Bro, they good. were good. They were good. I'm telling you. It's They're like good, it's hard bro. to it's hard to duplicate the feel, man. It's just, so I'm mm-hmm. glad that these are coming back. This is a cop. This is a uh I'll cop a I'll cop a switch for that. And i.e. I'm about to just mask up and that. Never mind. Uh mm-hmm. on to the next one. Uh, we'll move down <laughs> to Pac-Man World Repack. So a remake of the first Pac-Man yes! World game is on the way. <laughs> this man is visibly excited for some reason. It's I'm dropping not. August 26th. Uh, <laughs> that was too funny. Bro. How y'all feel about this one, man? Bro, I cannot wait to eat some balls, bro. I'm just <laughs> fucking Pac-Man. Lord have mercy, bro. You know, and guess what? It's repacked. <laughs> okay. You get what they did there? 
repack. Uh, Come on, man. Get this shit off my screen, man. I ain't this shit, man. Dumbass. Bro. Uh, let Pac Man die. Damn. Let Pac Man die, bro. Hey, yo. Man, continue, uh, man. A lot of these. I mean, are y'all excited? Are y'all excited? Are y'all excited? No, I'm not I'm excited for this. I'm, if it was if it was Pac Man World 2, I'd be excited because I love Pac Man World 2. That, that was like a frustrating game. That was a personally frustrating game bro, as a child, but I, I enjoyed it for some reason. These third person Pac Man games was like just. Whatever, man. Go ahead. Yeah, it, no, I, I, I understand, but Pac Man World 2 is special to my heart. That's all I say about that. But this one, I'm like, yeah, that's that's dope. Shout outs to, you know what I'm saying? Pac Man, Pac out there. Pac Yeah, cool. Uh, do your Pac-y-o. thing. You know what I'm saying? Charles, you copping to drop it? Uh, I'm not copping. I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's repacked. It's repacked. It's repacked. As it's much you. as I like packing and repacking, I'm going to have to say no. Unfortunately, bro. Oh, man. It's tempting, right. tempting. Very yeah. tempting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair, fair. Game uh, of the year contender. Right. It, it might be, bro. Listen, it's coming out in August, bro. He's trying to try to take, try, Grace, try to take. Please. Elden yeah, Ring, fine. watch your back. Elden Ring, watch your back, dog. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> All right, oh, man. Dead. Move it down the line. We had a new game, a new reveal for a game called Blank. Now, Blank was kind of like this black and white color scheme of a co-op adventure of a of a deer and a fox trying to de- traverse across a frozen locale, survive together, figure out what's going on, at least be- become friends, because they seem like they was ops at first. Uh, it's coming out February 2023 as a Switch exclusive. How are y'all feeling about Blank? Could be a good game. It yeah. could be. Mm-hmm. It, it uh, looks interesting. Uh, somebody who's played games like um, It Takes Two and a game called Brothers that like blew my mind narratively, this game, uh, I'm actually really excited to play because I could play with Panda, and it becomes like a really interesting story, especially when you're playing with somebody. This yeah. is for sure a cop. Definitely, mm-hmm. I'm definitely invested in these type of games um, for that same reason. When you know, like um, my girlfriend is getting a Switch, so mm-hmm. I might play this yeah. with her. This could be fun. Yeah, the art, the art style definitely struck me. Uh, so when this good. is a random aside, but this is okay. This is completely random, but I saw the art style. I was like, yo. These motherfuckers could really like give some pointers to the people that might make a spy versus spy game and just put these motherfuckers in that because it looks super sharp for the black and white nice. aesthetic nowadays. That was completely random, yeah. but hey, shout out to Spy versus Spy. Very, that would be that very would look amazing art direction. You know? It's it, the detail is so fine in that. Like you like when you so. look at this stuff, and again, the fact that it just doubled up on co-op, I'm actually like mm-hmm. really interested in seeing seeing how this turns out. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I like this it, trend it, of like the two people playing a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like co-op is on co-op co-op it's, been it's, on the comeback co-op been yeah. on the comeback thank goodness too because I it's it's, it's, it's been long overdue gaming, yeah yeah, yeah it's man. been long overdue for having like you know people just in one little lobby in one little you know session just doing anything having fun with that stuff and again with a good narrative this might slide in like an Ori category or something like that some nice little emotional co-op you know what I'm saying a, t- a, a very touching game you know game experience and stuff it looks interesting man so I I already said I'm keeping my eyes on it from you know. You know what I'm saying throughout. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to the you know what I'm saying. Uh, what's Dude, called the blank social team know who, doing their thing. Do we know who was uh, developing this, or is this like this an is indie? this is it, it's a, it's an indie, published but it's gonna be published by, by Gearbox. Yeah, okay. so let me look up who is the thing. I'll let y'all know. It was a yeah. singular. It was a singular um uh, guy whose idea it was. I completely forget his name. Ah, it's blanking. It's blanking. I'm blanking. I'm loving these like indies getting so much shine. Uh, um, <laughs> bro. I'm a fucking idiot. I said I'm blanking. Ah, that's a pun. That's such a dad joke. Oh my gosh. I'm like, not a father. I'm not a father. I promise. No, apparently, apparently you are. You know, yeah. they say if you just randomly start saying dad jokes, you know, <laughs> just randomly learn how to grill out of nowhere, you know. But uh, Ludi, I think is how you pronounce it. Ludi, okay. Mm, okay. Got you, okay. Got you. Never heard of them before. I mm. haven't either, but I, I'm glad they're getting shine for stuff like this, like mm. putting these smaller uh teams on the map, bro. Like this is actually great to see. Mm-hmm. No, nah, for sure, for sure. So yeah, there's, like, a, lot, there's a lot of hope for gaming. I, I feel mm-hmm. telling you, man, just keep branching out. Do do some real like novel, interesting like yes, takes like this, bro. Exactly. Your game don't have to be 55 million hours open world, bro. It could be a nice insular right. experience that right. this this might be. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't want to you know judge the last product and put the word on it, but like it looks like it's a smaller but really intimate experience, like in terms of co op and stuff, and having okay. like you know just be being that with the environment the elements. It looks it looks really good. Six hour game, good art style. You play with you know, your homie or your girl. Yeah. Can't beat. Can't Word. Beat. Can't can't be beat, man. For real. 
Facts. Shout out Blank, man. All right. Moving down the list, we have Mario and Rabbids Spark of Hope. We had the uh, the gameplay drop uh, come through. It's, it's coming through, what, October 20th, 2022, officially. You know what I'm saying? When, when's looking real? He said, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. These, are the he, games I, these are the games people would expect me to hate, but I think this could be kind of cool. No, this game is guys. The first I one. I bought it on sale. When I bought my Switch, it was the only game that was on sale at this time. I was like, fuck it. Well, who cares? This game is actually insane. Um, this game is actually the first one is really fucking fun. I actually can't wait for the second one. I don't know if I'll cop it day one because I'm broke, but I definitely would love to play this game. This game is really fucking good. Telling you, I'm about to say, yeah. I, the craziest thing is, I saw Negus on it the other day, bro. I was like, yo, why wow, Negus playing, playing, playing it today? Oh, wow. I'm I was dead. like, yo, when I'm he dead. when he playing that, no, not actually, that's not even not because Negus plays a bunch of different games, but you know, you're saying shit, but he like, does. you know what I'm saying, but. Yes, actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, could have fooled but, me, but he it looked like he was enjoying it, like, actually, was into it a little bit. So, it's I know a good game. It, it's a, it's a it's good, good game, it's, it's more than they, they give people credit for because rabbits are a part of it. That's that's yes, what I facts. feel like, you know what facts. I'm saying? Because the rabbits is in there and stuff like that, they cosplay as everybody and shit. People might get a little bit of slack, but I, I wasn't sure this game, game. but yeah, no, that's kind of good. It's a mm. sleeper, it's a sleeper, bro. It's a sleeper. I, I definitely say it's, it's something to look out for 100%. Mm-hmm. All right, on to the next one, Dragon Quest Treasures. So, uh, you know, this nice little spin on the Dragon Quest series. Uh, basically, it's just like it's it's, it's kind of in the Pokemon vein, bro. It's like you can tame and train monsters, and the cool thing is you can take them into battle alongside. So while you beating somebody up with a sword and stuff and doing your thing, your 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 pets and your companions are with you whooping somebody's ass too. It's like an open field. It's not no turn based stuff. You just go straight in. Uh, you can you can have people fly. The traversal is really cool, depending on what monsters you pick or or, what, or whatever you know whatever they're called. But it, it looked really really interesting, man. It's coming out what December 9th of this year. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. How do y'all feel about Dragon Quest Treasures? Oh, it's yeah. a cop, bro. I've always been a fan of Dragon Quest. Um, but you no, know, this new like style, you know, like taming the dragons, using them in combat. Uh, I've always been a fan of like the turn based fighters, but this is looks really good. It yeah. looks really good. I'm, I'm gonna have to cop. I'm happy with what they're doing with the franchise of branching out outside of the yes. turn base because like Dragon, yes. Cre- Dragon Quest Builders is really good. Now we're getting treasures, like it's just branching out. And I love it when IPs take their the world that they created and let people who switch up the formula, the regular play. Yeah, yeah, like like what Monster Hunter did with Monster Hunter Stories. Oh, you like turn based? Well, we got a turn based Monster Hunter game for you. Try it out. Um, Dragon Quest is one of the franchises I don't really know too much about, but I want to get into. Um, just because you know, I'm not gonna lie, I might shit on Terry Yaba, but he can really draw some characters, man. Mm. Um, yeah, I do want to play one. This might be the one. I'm telling you, <laughs> it looks and it it looks sharp too, man. It's like you know? it does. The crazy thing is, it looks so like integrated like it looks super smooth like I, I'm, I'm looking back on the trailer right now like you use one like this little slime monster companion you jump up and then at the same time he just automatically switched to another companion just flew off the jump like it looks way smoother than people might be looking at at first so i'm very 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 interested in this one man like again nah, this when is I, a... you know what i'm saying when i acquire my switch by completely legal means i'm gonna definitely be on the way for this one i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm I'm definitely copy 100 <laughs> percent yeah. All right. Uh, on to the second to last uh, piece of the Nintendo show that we saw, Harvestella. It was like a huge farming sim game, like slash Final Fantasy action combat type feel, bro. We might have to get a little bit deep for this one. I know. I, I, I see the smile on his face, bro. It's coming out November fourth of this year. How are we feeling about Harvestella? Uh, this might be wow. the game <laughs> I'm the most excited about, bro. I don't know why. But it's something kind of cool about farming that they go fight and some <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's like Stardew Valley in the play, Final go Fantasy play game. Genshin Impact, my guy. Like, nah, no, 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 This I is different. Bro. This I is can't. different. I can't. This is different, bro. This is different. I, yo, and this is crazy because I'm, I, look, I'm watching this whole direct very, very much so being myself. You know how I can be sometimes. And I was like, that is how I still look kind of tough. <laughs> This man was a harvest with magic. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Streets, <laughs> streets are and, dead. And this is why I say I'm a broken gamer. <laughs> Everything else should appeal to me. Like, bro, you the, ty- the- you the type of nigga to keep Farm Simulator 2020 still in <laughs> fucking rotation, bro. bro. Oh, my God, bro. I, lo- bro, I love Stardew Valley. Respect, I love respect Farm Simulator. Game, bro. 
I do, but I don't know why. I, I don't know why. It just seems kind of cool. I'm kind of excited for Harvest Stella. I, I will be day one copying this. Yes. So, there is no way you're serious. I, I, look, I, look, Charles, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> I told, look, it's funny because I've told Tripper, I think I told you outside after the, um, the, the, the event. Event. I was like, mm. yeah, I, I think I like Harvest Stella. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. He did. He did. I, I will say this as some I've played many games in my day. Um, a game called My Time at Portia is similar to Harvest Stella in the simple fact that like you're you're farming, you're doing this like basically the slice slice of life stuff, you're harvesting, you're crafting, whatever. And then in the game you fight like monsters, like you go out and you hunt things, but it's very much like a cutesy art style, like a regular, like uh and think of like Animal Crossing but with swords, right? Mm-hmm. The Harvest Stella is like, yo, what if we took that game and just made it anime as fuck because to me it just mm. looks like final fantasy 14 final fantasy. offline yeah. mode yep. and it looks interesting i gotta see i'm not i'm not against it i saw it and i was like all right we have watering crops is that god are you fighting god like yes. that's kind of nuts i'm interested to see how it goes i don't know if i'll be copping but i'll definitely be watching i'll definitely be bro. there might be a video essay on this if it's there that bro i'm just i'm just saying like it's it's <laughs> better it Listen, you you heard that you heard the famous saying, right? It's it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war. You know what I'm saying? Like you can do just that in this game, bro. You trying to live out the sayings and shit. Like this is this is go this is go to right here. I'm not gonna lie. War and peace. Like this is this is this is this is this is real. This is real interesting right here, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like you, you hit a hundred hundred something combo or something like that, or at least whole magic and go plant some beats. That's Dang. that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty like nice dynamic, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Beats are good for you. Wait, like wait. My I forgot to water them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Now, if you are able to use the corpses of your enemies <laughs> as your fertilizer, this game may be nah, fire. A better drop, maybe like Dragon Ball <laughs> oh, or something like that, and just sprinkle it on. Let's that could get be this. hey, man. Hey, it could be mm. heated. You know, I'm just I saying. Know Toss is very excited for it too. I'm so excited, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited, bro. I'm actually going to pre-order. Like, fuck the day one. I'm pre-ordering this, bro. Oh, hey, man. So excited. Hey. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, interesting. See, see you on there, brother. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we going to be neighbors. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, wait. Bro. Are, are, the, are the goblins getting your carrots, too? Yeah, bro. I got to put yeah. up a fence. Can right. I switch my content and just become a Harvest Stella content creator? Who would be laughing then? Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> Everybody. Make sure, <laughs> hey, listen, make sure y'all follow Charles the Sauce, Charles No Sauce on Twitter. Make sure y'all follow Grizz, Grizz on 13th on all platforms. I believe it's all Grizz on 13 clips on YouTube, mm-hmm. man. Make sure y'all follow this, bro. They be doing this every day. They do this shit every day. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. On to the last uh, little little tidbit for the Switch Direct. Um, uh, we had uh, just basically the whole drop off, man. Persona. They dropping on Switch, bro. They told y'all. They knocked, they kicked down the door. The hats open and shit. They said, hey, we're coming to the Switch. First, you Persona 5 Royale, October 21st of this Ooh. year. Then Persona 4. Then Persona 3 Golden coming through at a later date. How do y'all feel? When do you want to have our conversation in real time? Yes. <laughs> we, we can. Give us, give we us, can. Give us the cliff notes. Give us the cliff notes. Go on. So I, I'm super excited for this uh, mm-hmm. because I said this multiple times that the Switch is the best turn-based system. Like, it is the best system to play any turn-based game. And honestly, I, when I play Persona, I played a lot of hours, still haven't beat it because I keep restarting. Um, when I played it on the PlayStation, the biggest issue I ever had was, like, I had to play it on my TV. Like, I'm, I can't do it while me and my girl are watching reality TV. Like, I got to play it on the big TV. I got to, like, lock in. Yeah. On Switch, this is the best move they could have made. I wish they would have released it on Switch sooner. Like, I feel like it's been way too long for this game. Yeah. Um, especially since they released, like, the technically the sequel to it on the Switch, but they never released five on the Switch. So I'm excited. I think this is the best possible announcement we could have gotten from them, from that team, outside of Persona 6. Right. I agree. Now, on my end, <laughs> I was kind of fried. I'm like, bro, oh, my God. Did he release a Persona? Oh, my God. I'm so tired of them re-releasing you, Persona. Can I, can I ask, can I ask re- yeah. really quick? Have you played Persona? I've played all the Personas. Okay, okay. Except three. But I played Got all it. the Personas, yeah. I'm, oh, th- 
I'm a broken gamer. Persona mm-hmm. 5 is one of my favorite games ever. Like, yeah, why is that game is amazing? It's so fun. Like, it's so fun. I love that game. And I also, I, I argue this to the death, Persona has maybe the best video game soundtracks. Now, that's a little bit of a hot take. But I think uh, no, not, that's not, not, that's not, not a hot take. I'm saying that to a few people. I haven't, I haven't played wrong. any Persona, and I know what's up there, though. Okay, they're wrong. No, no, no. Top five. Yeah, no. It's up there, so with, son. With, but that being said, um, I was just, I, I feel like, and then I told Win this, if Xbox did not make that such, if I wasn't so hyped for the Xbox release of Persona, I get that. This would have been like, <gasps> yes, but mm. I feel like just hearing them back to back kind of killed my hype for this. Yeah. It took my thunder from it. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of like, okay, Niggas just gonna keep releasing Persona. But then, like I said, Wynn brought up a very good point. And, you know, like I said about the Nier Automata thing, a lot of people haven't played Persona. This is a good way for them to play it's Persona. And, mm. you know, make matters worse. It is a turn based game. I could take my Switch off and play the game cooling. Like, because it doesn't really, and it's not a frame intensive game. You know mm. what I'm saying? So um, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. I was just a little it's, salty that they just kept they, It was just like Nintendo wait made us wait 20, 27 minutes to release something we knew that was coming out. I get it, but it's like uh, it was just it was a mixture of things that yeah. made me not as hype about the Persona release. Yeah, yeah it's fair, it's fair, it's fair. It just it, like the timing, the timing was different so, for me. Know, I, I dropped a little spicy tweet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? The year is 2025, and we have played Persona yeah. 5 five times. That's right. Like, you know. I'm about to say, they're going to play it five more, bro. I'll tell you that. I'm about to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Atlas, Ubi, Atlas about to say. Needs, the, uh, needs Persona is something. They need to do something. Mm-hmm. Persona 2 remake, please. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk. I'm about to say, Persona not done on the show today, man. We'll, we'll, nah, we'll spin the block yeah. on them down somewhere, man. But yeah, it's real quick. Overall show grade, letter grade out from A to F. How do y'all feel about this Nintendo Direct, uh, the mini, I'm about to say, and, and how it shaped up? C plus for me. C plus, mm. C plus, okay, okay. Charles? Close to the B. Also a B, okay. I, I go B plus off the strength of Mega Man and Persona. Wow. Mm. Interesting, interesting. When? B minus. Mm. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Minus. I, I think we talked about this one as well. I, I go B minus as well. Again, Mega Man, huge. Uh, I was about to say Persona, again, huge. A little bit of Thunder taken away from the Xbox stuff. Yeah. Um, again, some of the stuff that, that was shown actually really, really cool. Again, my interest is budding for things like Blank. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For, uh, again, uh, another version of like Near Automata. Dragon Quest Treasures looks, looks really, really cool. Harvestella looks really cool. Like stuff that's budding, but nothing that's like, oh, shoot, I need to like, you know what I'm saying? Drop everything punch somebody take their switch off them and, and run now you know what i'm saying except for maybe mega man but you know what i'm saying overall all in all i think it's in b minus territory it's probably one of the best directs that they've ever dropped in my opinion yeah see this is why i miss smash brothers being relevant because every uh, direct mini, every... direct minis direct minis let me let me oh, clarify okay. direct, minis. Direct, well, direct, minis. Like direct minis direct minis direct minis direct minis because uh they're gonna take it out of context directs and direct i this is my take on like, you know, um, since, you know, these companies are doing their own little drops and shit, like, you know, announcements. If I don't get like hype about something, it's hard for me to rate them high. Now, yeah. is that because I'm jaded? Yes. But <laughs> <laughs> I just need something to get my blood pumping. And that's why I said C plus, because it's really close to a B, but it's just nothing that Made me want to jump for joy. You know what I mean? So. Fair. Fair. Nah, man. That's understandable, man. But yeah, that that was a Nintendo Direct Mini. Uh, Shouts to Nintendo for actually, you know what I'm saying, showing up that last month. You know what I mean? Like, I thought they weren't even going to do nothing, bro. But, you know, they, they drop a little something, something on us. Maybe they might have another, you know what I'm saying, specific Directs uh, maybe over the next couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Splatoon might be out there doing their thing in the, lurking in the shadows and stuff in the paint, in the paint cans and stuff. So we'll see what's going on. Uh. On to the next story. Uh, so the team behind the upcoming RPG One Piece Odyssey dropped a uh, dev diary just detailing their efforts uh, bringing the Straw Hat crew to life. We saw some of the free run with different characters. Each of them have, of course, their unique abilities to traverse the map. 
You can get in tight spaces with like with Chopper and stuff. You can reach all these hard to reach places with Luffy, chop down uh, obstacles with Zoro, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. You can uh, run from enemy fights. And then the fights themselves were the, the real big sticking point of this video, I, I think. They were kind of like scramble area battles, which was the concept that they introduced where it's like it's not just basic turn based one side, one side. But you can move your people into different areas, and sometimes enemies will gang up on one person, creating a lot of different strategic constraints yeah. for the battle. Okay. So people might need to think a little bit outside the box rather than the traditional turn-based, you know, things that people may be used to. So how do you feel about them trying to change up some things, and how do you think about the look of Odyssey so far? Um, uh, go, go ahead, Greg. Go ahead. Okay, all right. All right. Go ahead, Greg. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I wrote this game off. I really wrote it off. I really wrote it off. I thought oh, another mm. One Piece anime game. Okay, another One Piece game. You know, I thought I was just gonna get like the anime game treatment. Uh, but then I just keep. I kept seeing people talk about. It. I kept seeing. It, it felt different. It felt like the media was going to look. Media and the company was going a little too hard for this game. But after seeing the, uh, the recent diary. Uh, damn yeah. diary thing uh, mm. this could be cool man like mm. this really could be gas you know as an rpg player uh why not you know like yeah. have me but you know my biggest thing about anime games is just like always they can never really do too much with the story they always have to find because there's always constraints in the story um that's why, you know, my, my biggest thing is like with anime movies and anime media, it's like they they can't really do too much. You know, they can't really make the shit super compelling because at the end of the day, it has to fall in line with the status quo of where the manga or anime is at. But with that being said, um, I'm not going to take away from this game. It does look cool. Um, I definitely probably will check it out. Mm. Yeah, there oh, Charles? Um, I agree with Grizz to an extent, I, but I disagree on the story plot. I understand you, you want to, you know, make sure that um, the canon is canon and that whatever you add or mm -hmm. take take away um, doesn't retract from the said canon. Mm -hmm. uh, but because this is an original story by Oda himself, mm -hmm. um, I think that this will be a game worth playing as far, like, far as story goes. Um, the JR, JRPG um, methodology of this game, I feel like will make it suffer a smidgen. Um, and because, like, what was the last um, One Piece game? Uh, Warriors. Of, it was like Warriors something. It was yeah, One Piece Warriors. Right. Yeah, it was like a... Just, uh, just, right. Just the, just the, the Warriors games. Right. No, no, I was, no, 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 no. World Seeker. The one World Seeker. Was it yes. World Seeker? Nah. Yes. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're um, right. I... I I think that will limit it mm. in, in terms of the quality of the game that we can get. Um, being as a huge One Piece fan, I'm caught up with the manga and everything like that. So I have a lot of uh, emotional investment with this project. Mm. Um, and I mean, of course, it's an original story, so I can't be too mad that certain things are different or not the same. Um, but I look forward to this game. I, I do like the creative turn-based style play that they have moving characters around um strategic placements um uh, i don't know it's just something about that jrpg style that i kind of has me worried i'm not gonna not gonna lie about that charles can mm -hmm. i ask you a question then? what's uh, popping so you played the other one piece games right yeah um don't you think that fucking play style is limiting the uh mm. the fucking fight hella enemies and you know the kind of anime fighter type of vibe that it, like like World Seeker was kind of like a mixture of like Dynasty Warriors in a fighting game to me, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like that play style for anime games is kind of fried, bro. So, I feel like it. Go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead, Wayne, go ahead. Um, I'll what I what I will say is that like um, you're both right, but you're also like like so what Charles is saying, I I agree with is like yeah, you don't you can't do anything with a turn base. But you still can do more than what you can in like a uh, game like Dynasty Warriors because then it right. revolves around balancing and like block. Like the gameplay style is limited to the player, but more open to the the story and shit. Like you'll be able to do cool, crazy ass cinematic shit mm -hmm. that'll okay. fit. But like the, the the action will also be 
very limited because you're just tapping A. Um, right. As for the game itself, I've seen One Piece go through a lot of different stages. We got now we have turn based, which I don't think we've seen in a little while. And I've seen like World Seeker was like trying to do third person action um, and trying to move away from Warriors. Got it was an okay game. I think honestly just needed more tender love and care from them. Um, yeah. I don't mind the Warriors games because you could really put that formula onto any anime and it would probably fit. Yeah. Like, like we've seen in multiple instances. As for this game, it looks good, but I'm not caught up with One Piece, which is why yeah. I will be skipping it and not because I don't want things to get spoiled uh, in the long run. So, and I, I know mean, that it's, not, it's not the same story. I know that it's like a, it's an old yeah. original story, but the issue is more so like I'm still right at Alabasta and I'm seeing all these new characters in there and I'm like, okay, so when I see him in the anime, I'm going to see that I know this motherfucker is going to join it or whatever. I, okay. And I, and, yeah, I, and, I will, and I will say, you know, I'll, I'll leave this for the last statement of this topic. Go ahead, Nick, whoever wants to speak on it. I'll leave this for the last topic. Nah, go no, ahead, bro. Uh, I'm say. Uh, oh, go ahead, okay, go, uh, if, if, go ahead, Grizz. I, I could say, yeah, if when is that far behind, there's no point in playing this. <laughs> like, there's no point. Like, because, like, hmm. there's niggas in the story he doesn't even know who's going to be. Because in this, in this shit, it's like, what? Like, it's after the time skip. So it's like... Yes. <laughs> It's just definitely least... after time skip. Yeah. Right, go ahead, everybody else. That's all I had to say. Uh, all right. yeah, Ch- yeah, Charles, wrap us up. Yeah. All right. I was going to say, I appreciate the attention to detail of the character designs. That's all I want to say. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it is nice. This nigga was looking at her titties, bro. I know he was. I know he was. Look at this nigga, bro. Oh, my God. What? You didn't see the scar on Zoro's eye? Come on, dog. What are we talking about here? Get your Come ass on, out of here, bro. We know Come what you on, was bro. looking at. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, the attention to detail is important, as bro. As soon as he said that, oh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Charles, you're not slick, bro. Listen, 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 you're not slick, oh, man. man. Oh my I'm gosh, dead. that's crazy. That's crazy. That's wild. I understand the point, but it's wild. All right. Hey, bro, you you know you gotta keep the fan base happy. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Unreal Engine, man. They doing work in there, bro. They doing work in there. Uh, <laughs> moving on to the next. <laughs> As we await the fate of the la- of the last and latest uh, God of War Ragnarok story from Santa Monica. The fan base has showed again why they, uh, you know, uh, they're on some nut shit, bro. So apparently the fans have been, uh, you know what I'm saying, real up in arms about this. They've even gone so far as to spam a certain staff member dick pics to try and get a release date. Even Corey Barlog himself, the God of War director, has come out to just assuage people. Like, listen, it's, it's, it's coming. We don't, we're not ready yet. It's coming. But still people are going these far of lengths to try and get a release date out of people who do not have the release date. Uh, what's going on, y'all? Bro, be more like Momoji, bro. Facts. I like it. It just proves like time and time again that this gaming industry and like this this scene, anime included, just full of fucking weirdos, bro. Just like there's nothing to say besides there's just some weird motherfuckers in this space. And the like, what more can you say? Like, I, it's just like, come on, like, please have some, like, cooth, have some self control, have some patience. Like, go touch grass is not enough, bro. Like, bro. I want their thumbs. Like, come on, bro. Bro, I. It's sick. It better, better director than me, bro. I would have announced, like, I'm canceling the project. Or I would have just been, oh, I'm quitting. And I, and I would be like, oh, what, you're quitting the game? It's like, oh, yeah, now if this shit, now this shit's going to suck because now they have to train a whole new director. Or like, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm quitting. I'm not telling nobody shit. And I would be like, until I get fucking every single person who sent one an uh, apology ASAP. Because you guys are fucking children. What the fuck is wrong with bro, you? Like, bro. I'm going to keep it a stack with you, dog. If I was in middle school and I found out that the motherfucker next to me got my favorite game canceled... Yep. I'd beat his fucking ass in recess, yep. and I, yep. when I get back from suspension, I'd beat his ass again. I'm like, yep. yo, this game is fucking. Fact. You're crazy. You're a lie. weirdo. Um, I lie. I just think more people need to get fucking punched in the mouth for these type of actions. On oh, God, um, I I feel shit like this makes me feel disconnected from the gaming space, hundred percent, because you have you have twenty four hours in a day mm. for eight of them. 
work for another eight. You have that's, that's bold to assume they got jobs, bro. Hey, I'm bro. just saying. I mean, let's hope. Let's hope for these hope. people. Yeah, this is so. Even if they don't have jobs, they're at school. Yeah, yeah, true, true. They're, they're, they, you know. Um, you could be creating content. You could be bettering yourself. You could be doing so <laughs> much more with these other, you know, uh, fourteen to sixteen hours. You decide to send dick pics to a staff member who has a life, who's actually working, who's actually uh, doing something with their time. Bruh. Um, that shit, like stuff like I just, I can't. Stuff like this makes, I really can't wrap my head around in gaming space sometimes, bro, because like stuff like this doesn't even cross my mind to do or to feel or to say. I can't understand it. So I, I can't comment on it because it's just I don't know what to say. Like yeah, why? No, uh, <laughs> I got about to say I got you. I get. I know what to say. Um, <clears throat> this goes out to all the weirdos that that be doing shit like this in the gaming space. Um, y'all are entitled brats. I need to touch grass to get y'all ass beat. Point, point blank, simple. Oh, you know what God. I'm saying? That's that's one. Like the level of entitlement. Let's just talk about that for a second. The people that think, oh, just because we're you know the gamers, we deserve to have a release date. You don't even understand the slightest. When, when Khalif Adams said, P- gamers don't understand the development process, and that creates such the biggest like disconnect and divide between you know that to those who bases of people. It's so true, and it's so apparent in what goes on in these, you know, online and forums, whatever you want to call it. Like, people be so pissed, and, and they're about, oh, we don't have our date yet, we don't have our date yet. Like, yo, you'll get it when the developers have it, bro. They don't have this shit, because they're still working on the game to make it as best possible for you, you dumbass. Bro. So sit down and be patient. Motherfuckers, just, they want everything immediately right here, bro. They gotta, they have nothing better to do with their lives. And you know the craziest thing is? Corey Barlog, again, on Twitter, he was like, yo, like, he, some dude on Twitter is like blurbing about like, oh yeah, there's only game I'm waiting for blah, blah, blah. He's like, yo, there's games on Xbox. There's literally games all over the place. The gaming is so good right now. Go go experience something while you're waiting. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's a crazy concept, bro. People get so fixated on these one brands, these one things that they will literally go send their whole penis to somebody who has nothing to do with a release date. Y'all are bro. literal mouth breathers, bro. I promise. Y'all, bro, y'all and are and, good. And, bro, and let's say they did send this to the person that was actually developing the game. Y'all sending me shit is like when said it's going to make me want to fucking quit. So like, why are you self-sabotaging your own damn self? Literally to shooting, try to the, shooting the whole the, process in the foot. You know what I'm saying? In, in the entire foot, like you're, you're holding up my process because you want to be, for lack of a better word, a dickhead. Like you want to be a mm. dickhead. And now I'm upset because I'm getting dicks on my fucking phone mm-hmm. now you're messing up my workflow Can I, you're completely um, destroying my process like you go something real quick yeah go ahead um trip said something about like development right as a nigga you know who uh, work who works in tech you know it's coding and software development and shit um what niggas don't really i don't work on games obviously but like <laughs> bruh the art is hard bro Artists the alone. people behind this game, bro. I, I and then this is what fries me about gamers. If a story about Crunch comes out, they are ready to shit on that company to death, right? And this has been a very big thing in the gaming industry. Companies are trying to move away from Crunch. They're like, obviously, games are always going to have Crunch. It's it's a part of, you know. I get they don't have to, but like just it's around a com- the it's last, a, it's a common behavior that's been the, yeah, a stand. It's, it's been a norm. Of a game, it's been a norm. I can yeah. understand things wrapping up. The last week yeah. of the game, it's, 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 it's same thing for music. When you know you work on that album, yeah, yeah. the last mm-hmm. week, you know you're really pressing to get the mix in and the vocals. Level. Yeah, it's it's just so that it's not normal. It shouldn't be like that. But you know you also have to have a time date to make you know because shit will linger, right? But you these these companies you hear about the crunch these I bet everybody who was sending them dick pics would be like ready to shit on Sony about this right mm. but I remember when Cyberpunk was coming I was mad it was getting pushed back pushed back pushed back pushed back even though that game still had a significant amount of crunch I understood that these are regular people who have families and stuff who work all these games mm. I don't want them working fucking I wouldn't want to be working sixteen hour days to get a game out 
for people who are gonna send me fucking dick pics. Yeah, so why, why the fuck do you think they like? Yeah. Imagine I'm head designer. I'm getting fucking three hundred dicks to my phone. I'm not. I, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I don't want to. That's gonna kill my motivation. Literally, so no, I just think. I, wrong, I think. Bro. I think it's you know. It's just stupid, bro. These niggas need to grow mm. up, bro. Grow up. Yeah. They'll do something else. Learn how to nice. ride a fucking bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also another thing that we have to, I guess, kind of dispel, man. I feel like because people I'd still connotate the word gamer as somebody who's like, okay, maybe meek, innocent, whatever, blah, blah. I think a lot of people outside of the, the space, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe some people inside the space are a little bit blind to it. They think gamers, oh, just, you know, they're happy about their games, and da, 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 this, that, and the third, passionate, blah, blah, blah. But again, just because you're a gamer does not make you a good person. You, a lot of you motherfuckers are shitty. You're terrible people. You're terrible people. You do terrible things. You, you ain't doing nothing with your life. Your parents don't love you. I'm sorry. It's tough, but it's the truth for a lot of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like detaching that and realizing, yo, a lot of these people out here, they just, they just want what they want. They entitled, they spoiled. They're going to do, you know, that they don't understand anything. They're not looking at everything from another person's perspective. The real, it's just, it, it, it revolves around them. It, it revolves around them for a lot of this discourse. And that's why they, oh, oh, I'm so mad. I'm going to, I'm going gonna, to send this to her and spam her with that and stuff like that. And she'll give me the release date, right? Like, like that's going to actually work like a charm. Like, bro, bro like. That'll do it. She don't even know the fucking release. She probably don't even know the release date. She's probably a fucking she, coder. The, the person works she, on the she, game for she, eight hours. She works. Her, or she, I, I, I want to out the business fully, but she just works on the trailers, bro. I'll say that. She works on the trailers. So. I don't know how exactly that correlates to you having a release date until like, oh, you're working on the trailer or something like that. And you might not even oh, get to know that a part. Fucking editor, bro. What the fuck? Yeah. That? Telling her. And then you dumb fucks. You don't know what an NDA is. Yeah. Idiots, bro. She could go Idiots. to jail for telling you anything. Idiots, bro. Really? Also true. Also so true. That's all. She, so what if she did know the show? Hmm. She can't speak on it because she'd again, go to jail. You know, again, these people that have a lot of NDAs. A lot of people don't care about NDAs in the industry because they stupid they as hell. And that's anything. another point that's for another day. Yeah, just they just shit. don't know anything. Facts. Like, go read it's, a fucking it's, book, man. It's crazy. Facts, bro. I'm not going to lie. I would delay stuff purposely. If I was a game dev, I would delay stuff purposely. I would find people's accounts and get them banned to make sure they couldn't access the game. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I would do what I would do what I could. Yep. Get them get them boys PSN banned or something like that. Get them out of there. Yes, in sir. some way, shape, or form. There's got to be some punitive, some punishment. You know what I'm saying? Some things, you know, we're, we're like you know, what I'm saying like they get back. There'd be consequences, man. People, that's yes, one of the, that's also again a whole. We need to have a like a whole seminar on why y'all niggas suck. You know, what I'm saying why gamers suck is a, is a seminar coming soon, hosted by No Cooldown, bro. Like again, it's just a lot of shit. But y'all are terrible. That's all I gotta say on that. Again, God of War Dev Santa Monica Studios, hold tight, bro. Do y'all thing. We here. The actual gamers are actually chilling, bro. We see y'all. Facts. All right, man. On to the next story, man. So we're going to need a trumpet uh, you know, to get pulled out real quick to play taps because uh, we have to lay down a uh, fallen <laughs> battle royale soldier. Uh, we got the report today, y'all. Spell break. It's officially ending the game's life cycle early 2023. And on top of that, the team behind it, Proletariat, is being acquired by Blizzard Entertainment and will be all directed to support development for World of Warcraft and its upcoming expansion. So, uh, spell breaks gone. That's sad. And proletary is being absorbed. Can, How do y'all feel, man? Random question real quick before uh, we go ahead. I like a few of the spell break games. <laughs> <laughs> but what the fuck the spell break developers know about MMOs? <laughs> Because they, they had magic in the game, bro. Duh. Come on, bro. No, 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 Come on, bro. No, no. I, I will say. <laughs> you killed Trip. Oh, no. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. The most disappointing part about this entire story was like, yo, these motherfuckers are going to go make World of Warcraft. I'm like, bro. Come on, bro. We don't need more people making World of Warcraft, bro. No, <laughs> I don't. Spellbreak was a good, it was a fun, interesting idea. I think it would have succeeded. Like, I think it would have succeeded more as a PvE type game or even like a co op game, like something that isn't like Battle Royale focused because we have too many of those as it Team is. Deathmatch would have been cool. Yeah. That would have been cool, even if they did like a little story mode. Like they could have did some cool shit with the with the concept. 
um because of just like wizards we don't really see a lot of magic games and now look at the fucking thing where magic is everywhere where you have things like forespoken and, and shit like that mm-hmm. like now it's like the time for magic and it's like damn well there goes uh spell break it was a fun game i'm sorry to see it go i'm not gonna sit here and act like i don't know why it's leaving but yeah i didn't want it to go to blizzard like oh cool give it to another of, ip of, of theirs of all the of places all to go theirs. to be fair yeah. blizzard needs a lot of help right now they need a they need a spell for honesty fair. in that bitch. I'll tell you that. Bro. That's crazy, uh, bro. But I, um, I will say I will say this. I will say this real quick though. Um Spellbreak uh actually was a pretty dope concept and it was actually steady at first. I feel like where it went wrong was just consistency. You know what I mean? Again, and that's the problem with all BRs and a lot of content nowadays. You have to be consistent in drops you have to be consistent in at least marketing and letting people know like hey we're here you know what i'm saying like they had a great start like a lot of brs a lot of brs have a really great start hyperscape had a really good start you know what i'm saying like uh i forgot what what other ones are out there but you know what i'm saying they usually Ooh. typically have really really good starts but it's just the consistency from month to month going forward that lets them down adding new features adding new game modes adding some things that bring people back they may have been out of the cycle to come you know right. come try the game again and I, again it just fell off really early for me i actually Actually, I remember sometimes I'd play solo sessions by myself because I was interested in the game when it first came out. Like, I was, I was interested to learn and get through, but over time, it was like, yeah, you know, it, it is I what it's kind I of faded away. Yeah, I don't think they market it well. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think that they did enough as far as making the game seem as fun as it was. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't remember any major, like, spell break like, events. I don't remember them, like, bringing big streamers in to play the game. I don't remember any of that. It might have happened, but... I think they did I, at the start. Like at the start, they might have had like a couple did, of they did. They did. I remember Spellbreak was like really, really. Mm, it, it was, was popping. Pop, they the, had the drops or something like that on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, it was going mm. around the VR space. My, my biggest thing about the games like this is like, what happens like if you're a con- consecrated for this game? You know, I'm pretty yeah. sure people played it. Oh, yeah. What happens when you spent, you know, X amount of money on microtransactions for gear and clothes? Like, you just Sucks lose to all suck. that shit. Yeah. You know, Peace. <laughs> So with uh, the way Paragon worked, when Paragon went down, they offered you uh, your money back if you bought things like the, um, the like the cosmetics. You probably won't get back because it's a BR. It's like you already got the cosmetics for the game. But like I remember when Paragon came out, I bought like the hundred dollar edition to get all the future characters. Mm-hmm. They were like, "You're not gonna get the future characters. You can't even afford these. We'll give you your money back." That was a different time, though. That was a different epic. That was yeah. before Fortnite was crazy, crazy. That's, so yeah. I don't know if that's a yeah. if that's a thing anymore. But yeah, I, I remember that. I remember it because I remember I was I, I was super behind Paragon. So mm-hmm. yeah, I remember all that stuff, all the packs and shit I brought. I, I don't think I got the money back because I remember I was like, you know what, man? I Let him have it. I think it's doing that for us, man. This is a good game. <laughs> Yeah, I keep that bag, man. Whatever, you know. I was that broke as shit. I was like, yeah. request refund <laughs> PayPal. They're like, what do you want? V bucks? I'm like, no, I want real bucks, baby. Give me that shit back. Real bucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, hey, man. I always think about like the the game. It sucks that the game is is no done. I always think about like the drawback for people who do invest in these games. Um, how they're like this could be this was somebody's income, you know. This was people's yeah. jobs. You know, mm. uh, there's people who's passionate about this game, and not all the creators, but developers, and oh, that shit's yeah. done. That shit's it's sad. I don't like seeing games die. I don't like yeah. seeing games get shut down. Thanks. I don't. You know, I'm a I'm a fucking troll, but like stuff mm. like that is 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 sad, bro. Yeah, I feel that, so, bro. Uh, Again, that's 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 one of the mottos on the podcast, man. We never want a game to do bad. We never want a game to yeah. to fail or drop dead or something like that, bro. We want games to thrive because the more great games are out there, there's more content for us to consume more great moments for us to be for for us to have and stuff and it's more stuff for us to talk about so you know we never want things like that to drop off but it's unfortunate but we got to get the final salute man spell break we hardly knew ye ah. <laughs> all right all right uh, speaking of slightly dead games though uh we got to slide on to halo real quick uh so 343 have finally announced that the co-op campaign is arriving in test flight starting the week of July 15th. Now, they're only testing online co-op, so couch co-op is still off the table for right now in local capacities. They've implemented basically an area of operation, so if you get too far away from, uh, you guess, your other player on the map, or your other players on the map, uh, you know, in, in the campaign, you'll start, you'll die and reset or something like that. So you're trying to keep it kind of close, but not too close. And of course, cross-play is supported 
throughout various modes and methods. How do y'all feel about co-op finally gracing the Halo campaign for Infinite? I'm, I'm done with Halo. I'm so done. <laughs> the show is the show is so mid. <laughs> I gotta I gotta watch the, I gotta watch the show still. The yeah. show is so mid. They show Master Chief's face in the first episode. The first one? I thought it was later. Really? Oh my gosh. I thought it was later. Episode. I heard oh, about first, it, but I... The wow. first episode. That right there is Blasphemy the Halo. Right? <laughs> Just right there. But let's talk about how 343 dropped the game that we liked. Me, when, you know, yeah. we were playing this game. I yeah, everybody was Halo. playing it. Everybody was playing it. Oh my it was gosh. I was like, wow, this is... And they had us. believe it. They had us. And then they just st- just they just did it. They just stopped. Yeah. He was like, you know what? We're just not gonna support the game you guys like, obviously. Yeah. Um, this- I don't care. Yeah. I don't know, bro. Like, there is so many like broken promises, promises when it comes to that <laughs> game. So that's specifically the co-op. Because I could have swore that this co-op was hinted to be done maybe three months ago or something like that. I I, I may be like missing. Uh, some details, but I almost certain I saw something regarding the co-op and it being almost finished. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but the fact that you haven't started on the, I mean, I get it. I guess I kind of understand like the 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 local co-op, but wouldn't that be easier than than the online co-op? Like, so and, and I'm, don't get me wrong, priori- priorities, yeah, because more than likely you're not playing with people in the house anymore, but. I don't know. Like, I don't think we care about the Halo co. I mean, co-op and story mode e- anyway. It's, well, I don't. I know I don't anymore. What gets me is that it's not done. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah it's still it's not, not done. Because it's, it's not, not like they're done. doing anything crazy with the multiplayer. Like, yeah. just tell us when it's done. Yeah, you don't have to tell us when you're testing it. We don't give a fuck. We want it on the game when it comes out. Yeah. How about that, dickheads? It's- if I was if I was Halo's marketing, and this is this is why Microsoft hit me up, bro. I, I promise y'all, I, this is an easy fix, bro. As a marketing department, I'd have been like, listen, we're gonna release the game in November. We're gonna keep saying it's early access because the shit that they're giving us right now sounds like early access game type vibe. Like this is early access beats because I play a lot of games in early access. I'm a huge fan of survival games. Those games are always in early access. Mm-hmm. Like a game like called Scrap Mechanic. I remember one of my biggest issues. I was like, there's no like uh, way of marking your locations, like where my base is and shit like that. And they were like, yo, guess what? In two months, you're going to get that location. And guess what? In two months, I came back and I, I, I made a beacon. I'm like, this is amazing. I didn't hate it because it was it was, it was was uh, early access and I knew what it was. You're a triple A title. This is Halo. Bro, this, isn't, this isn't a new IP. This is Halo. Y'all exactly. should have never released this Microsoft. Shit. Right, this is this is your Who can game. Throw Twelve bro. billion dollars at companies. Just like, like y'all, a, y'all you, a quarterback, bro. Y'all supposed to be leading the line, bro. For Xbox. You're bro. acquiring everything but a fucking good IP, bro. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, y'all, come on now. Like, you guys bought, you guys have Blizzard, you guys bought Bethesda, you guys did all this shit, and I'm like, and I'm seeing the way Halo is, is suffering. Truly, y'all should have had two different teams, one on multiplayer, one on single player, or something, because. This is, it's sad, bro. What season is Halo even on? Because if you're going to tell me there's, there's, there's more than one season. We're still, we're still like the middle of two. Bro, middle of two. I didn't hear nothing about three. We're in the middle of two? It's like yeah. almost a year since it came out. How long is exactly. the season? It's one year? Bro, this is the longest season. This is a CW show type of season. Like, this is insane, bro. <laughs> like, this is crazy. Come on. Uh, I, you guys can do better. I know you yeah. can. Yeah. They, they could. They I mean. Yeah. So Imagine the, this. The, 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 give me, sorry, one quick. One second. Um. The Halo Infinite season two started May third. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes, I just, I'm still going that out there. And it's still going. And the game came out in November. Correct. Yep. That's insane. I, I was going to say that. Uh, I remember that the only reason the game released like this is because they was just trying to try to get that holiday season back. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's like, and they they were even worse too because they dropped they were, they dropped multiplayer early. They dropped the whole free portion earlier. That's even worse to me. Just wait it. Just should have just waited. Should have mm-hmm. just waited. Wait until next year. Give us everything. We would have been shitting on the game. We would have been bad. We would all be playing Halo right now. We would Bro, all literally be playing you, Halo. If they, right now. if they dropped in March instead, I wouldn't have been mad whatsoever. I would not have yeah. been. Literally. We would still be playing Halo because I played Halo from November to like January. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Easy. And then it was yeah, the, yeah, the lack of content that I had. Facts. Yeah, eventually it, that it, shit started catching up. 
Facts. Yeah. At his at his front, and fundamentally, it's actually a really good game. It's actually really, really dope. I'm not gonna lie, solid, but it just you shooter. don't have you don't have enough to support it though. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I knew what it was building up to, man. And, but uh, y'all should have just took that early precaution and said, hey, listen, we're, we're pushing it back. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, force still might be delayed a little bit till like okay August, but if from March to August of this year is way more understandable right. than like you know oh November to whatever date. You know what I'm saying? Like right. they just need they needed way more time in the pressure cooker for this. It was undercooked. It, it, was, it was it was severely undercooked. Kind of like what Wynn said. Um, don't tell me there's a story mode or a campaign or an online co-op. Don't tell me. Stop it. If you just drop it out of nowhere. I'm going to think, oh, my God, they're actually thinking about content. They want me to do something else besides just as regular multiplayer. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a concept. Don't give me these false hopes over and over and over and over again, and then don't deliver on them. Like, just, just right. tell me, just like, well, just don't tell me that there's a, there's a co-op. Don't, don't tell, tell me, me that. Don't, don't tell me your test. Don't tell me nothing. If you would have dropped Halo Infinite as mm. purely um, a multiplayer, it would have been fine. And then had you just said, "Hey guys, we're gonna we're gonna pull a Call of Duty and we're dropping the campaign." Oh my God, they have a campaign now. And they were dropping gonna, the BR. And they were and, dropping. Bro, give us a roadmap. It's just a roadmap. Yeah. And you know, to be honest, you could have just did. You could have dropped the multiplayer, and then had a team like Wynn said strictly focused on multiplayer strictly focused on giving us content giving us a roadmap for the multiplayer but i, I just uh, hey man halo halo might be dead bro tough man tough scene like and it was so easy too again y'all just wait literally just wait till like march april drop everything right here one time you could even wait till summer to drop some of the big moles like forge and yeah. stuff and then let yep. your game eat for the rest of time. Like you guys could have really had it set up there well, but I guess it was just trying to beat the rush, and they got they got caught. They got caught straight in the jaw after like two months in. Crazy mm. man. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, I I hate saying that I don't care about this game right now. I hate it, but I I don't try to go back and play it, and it's fucking super. Like the loading system is like super fucking buggy. I have a fucking like twenty five hundred dollar computer, bro. What? My shit shouldn't be glitching and it shouldn't be choppy and it's just I don't know, man. It's just a fucking game, bro. Yeah, yeah panda, panda's game. All the characters don't have thighs. Like it just clip. Like their thighs. They don't just have thighs. Down, they don't have thighs. It's so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. No nah, man. Sad days, bro. Sad days for the man in green. Ugh. All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, to the next story of the pod we got a first look at robin uh and his kit from gotham knights uh, it's looking pretty interesting actually you know what i'm saying gotta look at some of the skins some of his skills uh how he's traversing the world what's going on uh how we feeling about robin y'all how you feel about robin he actually makes me excited for the game yeah which he's is crazy right he look he looks really fun yeah at this um, point I'm crazy put this game out just drop True. it I'm yeah. I, that in October, but it, they, do have, they have been talking about it way too much. Way yeah. too much. Way yeah. too much. I was I, already excited for the game. Yeah, facts. But now I feel like I'm watching a fucking Let's Play at this point. <laughs> I'm dead. I think that my favorite part of that trailer was giving us the tight the dc titans version of uh tim drake as a skin mm. i was like this is great mm. like i th i think that was like a, a fantastic touch um for not only the game itself but like for for um dc fans who watch mm. the shows i'm like oh great now i have something to you know keep me invested like i enjoy tim drake in, in titans and sure i would love to play as tim drake the titans tim drake within this game so I think they they did great there, but like I said, they're just showing a lot of this game. The show it's like it's like they're overcompensating, and it's like, all right, are you gonna let the game speak or are you gonna let the trailer speak? Mm. And they're 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 letting the trailer speak a lot. Yeah, yeah. they let the they let the cinematics and the quick cuts get to some people. I'm like, all right, cool. I mean, cool. Yeah. Cool. they don't have to do this. I get. I feel like they're doing it to keep. Their name in the news cycle. Yeah, yeah, the momentum. Yeah, yeah, of course, of but course. That's just, why they that's know, why they man. parse it out like this because they still have one more character to show off and stuff before you know. They, I guess they go quiet for a little bit before like maybe a final couple of trailers. That's fine. It's whatever. It's cool. But I know I'm still concerned massively over this game. But to speak on Robin, Robin actually looks the most fun out of the entire set. I will say this. Yeah. Robin looks yeah, clearly actually, like the most yeah. the most fun. 
his yeah. traversal mode is like you saw like, the giant ass teleporter out of like the satellite and stuff like that, which is wild. But I'm like at least more sensible than the Soul Stepper. I'm about to say than the Billy Jean simulator and shit Jason doing. So <laughs> that, it's, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine with Robin's mode of traversal. And again, his kit looks really cool. I loved the actual the, like the bow physics, like the staff mm-hmm. physics and stuff. Like he, I that, yes. that looks super sharp. I like I like the sharpness and detail on like the skins and like the you know the the, the character model looks really dope. Uh, but outside of that, again, my still my concerns still remain. The smoothness of the combat. Um, I again, we're all used to the 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 rock steady, the, you know that yeah. combat style, the smooth, the flow, the flowy type of combat. And also, one thing I saw, uh, just uh, overall, like the the team move, you saw, like somebody got catapulted into somebody else and did that. Yeah. Is it automatic? Is that how easily can we access those types of moves in tandem and stuff? That's a question. That's a new question that popped up for me, and I hope that can get answered. And if it's like, oh, an automatic finisher and just whatever, I'm like, okay, that's pretty flashy, but I'm not going to be too interested in it. But if it's like, oh, we can access variations of those different types of team moves and whatnot, I'll be more interested to see how that plays out. But again, same concerns still remain. I think the game's looking a little rickety at the moment when you look at the the the, the, the large picture and not just the, the little animated shots and, and quick cuts. All right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pharisees. But yeah, all right. Moving on to the next story real quick. Um, coming from the Sony head of home entertainment, Kazuo Ki, Sony are now developing a line of gaming hardware entitled InZone, focused on PC and specifically FPS gamers. Now, it seems that the group uh, from Sony is looking for PC populations, of course, consider their brand and, of course, entitled InZone, and they don't want to attribute it to just being a console brand. So, they again, in an interview, they were like, yeah, we just don't want them to see, see Sony and see, oh, consoles. So how do y'all feel about Sony stepping into that hardware market, specifically for monitors and getting these FPS people on board? This is for people who don't know shit about computers and yeah. buy a computer <laughs> and they say oh uh i know sony i bought a pc uh sony screens that makes sense because i'm gonna be playing <laughs> sony games on my new pc <laughs> bro like come yeah. on man. like t- like I, I don't know and this one's about to fry me look if it's a good price i can get it you know you might have some mm-hmm. type of brand loyalty but we know how this shit goes. Yeah. It's going to be a Sony PC monitor and it's going to tax, mm, right? Heavy. And it's going to probably be 120 frames. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like 120 refresh rate, 1080p. And they're going to charge $600. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then, be gonna be a, then, it's going to be a great. And then, but, but on the flip, you can get a 32 inch 2K mm. monitor. Curved for the same price. <laughs> Facts. If you know your research, Facts. right? So it's like this is not for us. This is, so, yeah, this is, this is for the console news. Yeah. It's for the it's for the people who are gonna switch over because PC gaming is getting so popular, and so, it's easier <sighs> ever. It's easier ever for people to get into it. It's all these companies that are building PCs for people because what was the what was the entry? level niggas either had to know somebody or know how to build a pc to get a mm. pc builder but well, that was about what i say 20 20 18 around mm. that era of time i remember i wanted a pc but i didn't know i didn't know how to build one you know yeah now you know what i'm saying like there's, a, there's people who will do it for you you know i remember coming up it was like a what was that company C- i buy power yeah yeah it mm-hmm. was and all my homies would be like um or about homies for in the PC. I was like, I'm gonna get one of these I buy power ones. And it's like, mm. oh nah, just build it yourself. It's so much cheaper. Yeah. The I buy power shit is about the same price, roughly. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Roughly especially, now. Especially with the prices of parts and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got so, my book built my shit for like a, a case of beers. Like that's how <laughs> that's how knowledgeable everybody everybody can build PCs these days. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So yeah, this is not for us who's been in the market for a while. This and um, I shout out to Sony for trying to get into uh, you know the what they space. doing. You know, maybe they, they bro, could. They're about to be. They're about to, bro. These are about to be remodeled PS fives, bro. Like we know what these was was coming. Hey. Like they're. They're I, trying to get in cozy, bro. They're trying to get in. They cozy. are maybe the maybe PC case, side. Maybe a case. Maybe a case would be cool. Right, Sony if, if Sony did cases or uh, um, hell, funny. even hard drives. Sony sells hard drives and shit like it's that. It's just something like, nasty about a monitor. I don't know. It's why. something nasty <laughs> about that, and like it's 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 not 
very Webcam. reassuring or welcome it's not it's not very like reassuring as to what is to come from sony when we're talking about gaming and we're talking about like pc gaming specifically um and we have it just feels like there's going to be just like going to go to a place where just they're just reskinning ps5s that's the way i look at it like i don't think that this is very indicative of something good to come this is just another cash grab that we all know they're going to be overcharging for shitty ass specs like we we know what's going to be coming here it, i it's not it's not anything good for me like at all nothing good yeah. And like, how are you going to be building these motherfuckers when y'all don't even have parts for your main consoles anyway? So there's that as well. Nice. So like, now it just feels like empty promises to me. So yeah, like I said, it's mm. just I know they're going to be crazy expensive just because of branding, you know. But uh, oh yeah, if if anybody's hearing this and are interested in buying a Sony monitor, um, don't don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and if um, you do, do your research, man. If you do, do least. your research. Mm. Listen, go to New Egg, right? <laughs> go to newegg.com and uh just look at look up some shit or you know mypcpartpicker.com just my compare PC from there picker. or you can go to uh pc master race reddit and be like hey i just got a new pc these are my specs what type of graph uh bother should i get mm-hmm. and there'll be a lot of fucking neckbeards in there who likes Facts. to tell people what to buy that, that's yeah. the thing i say Facts. so uh there's red, many red ways beard, red beard master 817 about to jump to it he about to help you like fasten and geek squad bro you be he, right. might, yeah, he loves it it makes him feel good about himself to flex his pc knowledge so oh uh, guys don't buy this monitor please don't <laughs> you know what i'm saying make sony actually work to get in our space the pc space Word. Cause you um, know, uh, you know, I uh, say this is all a play, bro. They want that PC money. They want they they felt a bro, taste with some of these little these little bro. PC PlayStation drops, bro. They said we want to be all in now, baby. You're we about wanna, to we get wanna... a P5 reskin soon, Ugh. bro. Thinking. I'm telling I'm telling you, they just they 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 slowly making their way to that PC market, bro. Because they know the sales potential. They want to get in on it. They want in. Mm-hmm. Well, they see Microsoft spanking but over here. I will say this though. This is probably probably the best thing to come from it because sony is trying to move into pc gaming we if we get some of these ips because we, we got god of war oh 100 um, we're definitely good they they, so they plan the, they plan for it they plan for it right so i'm just hoping that you know this kind of helps converge gaming spaces specifically like cross play or cross play i should say um hmm. you know we can hope but i don't see that being their their motive and their focus though so it is well, one of the money. I go one ahead. small note too. Um, I don't want no fucking white and blue monitor clashing with my PC fucking <laughs> uh aesthetic, bro. I don't want that ugly shit, man. I'm dead. Give me a black monitor. Black. Nah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. But yeah, we'll see, man. I, they are planning to again. I think they said like 2025. They want half of their exclusive catalog on PC. So we're going to see where there there's going to be more dropping. They're going to they're going to have more coming in the the few next few years, man. They know how much money they stand to make and how much money oh, they've man. been keeping off the table or putting off the table by not joining this PC market. So they I'm wising gonna, it up and I think there's an, another yeah. way to do it. I'm going to have two P- Sony PC monitors with my new Sony PC controller and all the <laughs> PC exclusives <laughs> on the new Sony PC game launcher. <laughs> And it's gonna be great. I, I basically have a PlayStation on my Microsoft Windows running um, machine, and it's gonna be the best love child ever. I cannot wait. And I'm gonna still emulate um, Switch games. What? Yeah, I'm dead. That's, that's not legal, <laughs> sir. You did not tell huh? me. Allegedly. 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 Hypothetically speaking, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I heard. I don't know. People's crazy out here. Can't Anyways. <laughs> Oh shit, bro. All right. Moving on to the section that we like to call the trailer trove. We're talking about all this media TV, more sit down and kick back type of uh, you know what I'm saying, media stuff that we like to do. There's a couple of stories that came through the world works this week, so let's talk about them. First and foremost, now there's a rumor. Take it with a grain of salt, people, but allegedly a brand new Doctor Doom project is set to be going down via a leak off a hot mic from a notable personality Howard Stern off the radio he seemed to have let it slip live on a show and the Marvel fiends have been going into a frenzy now thoughts on Doom being in the works what do we want to see who do we want to see me Doom what's what's going on man because this is this is this is different Howard Stern was coked up nigga he ain't mean to say Doom nigga 
<laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know actor wise who I want to see play Doom. Uh, because Doom has such yeah. a intimidating presence. And I'm trying mm. to think. I mean, maybe you guys could throw somebody out there and get my brain running. But uh, mm. a Doom project would be cool. We know we'd probably get a Fantastic Four, obviously, after. Never mind. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, so, you know, we obviously know we get a Fantastic Four since Marvel mm. acquired Fox. Um, so a Doom project would be cool. I don't know what the fuck Howard Stern would have to do with that. Maybe he's in the movie. Apparently, apparently say he's going to be in the movie. He, like, something, something yeah, shit like that. Like, he let uh, slip. Announcing something or, you know, he's probably like, like uh, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's cool. I'm excited, man. More Doom, you know, with the King mm. shit they got cooking up and the Doom shit they got cooking up. This could be good. This could be good. This could be good. I, um, go ahead, Wayne. I was going to say, the only person I could really think that I'm like, oh, he'd kill it would be like Michael Fassbender. Um, yeah. I've got one. Did, yeah, unless they dead, Magneto, unless they dead Magneto, like, unless they dead Magneto. I think they're gonna death Magneto, um, huh? because I, I mean I want them to because the way they did Magneto in the in the last few X Men movies are fucking garbage. So I'm um, yeah. kind of over it at this point. I'd ra- I'd rather them recast everything. Michael Fassbender would be fire. I just He'd yeah, I think I think he's just too connected to the the Magneto yeah, no, you know, face. Yeah. And um, honestly, I'd like to see I like to see him back as Magneto in the MCU fashion. At least, I, I'm, to me, agree. at least now in the modern day, I can't really see anyone else being Magneto besides him. I'm Correct. they just kind of it's yeah. kind of glued to me personally. I'm just like he's he's a good actor. He's a really good actor. And I feel like he does he he can do it justice given the right set of environment around him. Yeah, I feel like that man is just over. Well, I mean, this is a whole other conversation, but go ahead, yeah. Go um, but yeah, so you're I not wrong. I, I see I, you going, buddy. Gave... I, I I hear you win. I think so. I think I I gave this um this pick last pod, but Luke Evans. Um, if y'all don't know oh, who Luke Evans, is, uh, he was Dracula. Yeah. That man will yeah. demolish a Doom role. He like nah, he has. I think I, he, I think he has the face for it. I think he can do the accent if he wanted to. Um, he can play a bad guy. Like he absolutely can. Luke um, Evans. Yeah, he was the dude I, in um, I, Fast and Furious. He was um, he was no, no, Jason. Right now. Yeah, he was yeah. Jason Statham's little brother. Yes. So I think that this man will absolutely demolish a Doom role. Um, I can see it. But as far as hopes, I'm kind of not hopeful because we have not seen a good Fantastic Four product. Um, and I'll leave it at that. We have not seen a good Fantastic Four product. Correct. Um, and I do not want this fantastic ass villain to be wasted or or actor so, so to speak to be wasted on another flaunted effort in another fantastic movie that will not have any acclaim or will not be good in any way, shape, or form. So Thanks. I'm hesitant to to want another Fantastic Four movie. Specifically Doom. Specifically, I don't want <laughs> Doom because Doom is probably that's too, it's too impactful, two bro. Of all time. That's too, too impactful, impactful to man. Have, and to and you waste. know, but you know they're gonna do it anyways because they they're, they're exactly. trying to. Apparently, they're trying to set up for Secret Wars. They're apparently, they're trying to set up for all this other shit. And I'm like, yeah, they're gonna have to do Fantastic Four. And they're gonna have to do Doom. And I'm like, you have to. I'm just you so fearful to. because again, like you said, every version that we've got of Fantastic Four has been, you know, what I'm saying mediocre at best, straight hot dog garbage, glizzy juice at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's not even a it's yeah. not even good. It's not. It's not a good site. So, and and mm-hmm. again, John Watts left the Fantastic Four projects. I don't know where that's going to be in a state. Doctor Doom, it's right, still early doors, bro. but I don't know what's going to be formulating with that. There's too many unknown variables for me to you know provide an idea on this because I'm so scared. I'm scared for this, bro. I'm scared for Doctor Doom. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm scared. Terrified. They gotta do it. Terrified. Like if, if there was any person they need to do correctly off the rip, it's him. It, he they have it's to. Hard, it's a hard task. It's a hard it's, task. It's not man. easy, bro. Mm-mm. But I would say Luke Evans is a good shout though, because Luke Evans definitely is like Luke he Evans, has that yeah, presence. Yeah. He has that presence. I I, I believe. I man, shit is crazy, bro. MCU, I promise you, I will I will actually suplex niggas if y'all mess up doing. I'm not even gonna lie. I just people on the street, bro. Just one time, just German pull gone. I promise you. Anyways, I can't I can't think of nobody for doing honestly. Yeah, no, Luke no, Evans is no. the only one that I see that that could um, be new new. Let me see. I I had a couple. Um, buddy that played um, 
Jamie Lannister, I think. He oh, could do it. Nikolai Nikolai Coster Waldo. Yeah, whatever his yeah. name is. Um, John Ham. John Ham. <laughs> this guy. This guy. He was a guy. Jo- yeah. He 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 was fuck? in a uh, Baby Driver. Uh, the, yes, he was. The white dude, the Baby Driver. John he's got Ham. He's, got, he's yeah. too young. No, 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 no. That nigga's no. fifty-one. He was also. No. He was oh, also oh, in, uh, Mad oh, Men. oh. The dude oh. on the Progressive commercials. Oh. <laughs> I like that win. Yes. Lord, That's honestly a pretty good thing. I'm looking at like a fan casting thing. Uh, Mads, like Mc, uh, McKilson, Mads Mickelson. Uh, Mads Mickelson? Oh, Mads, shoot. Mads Mickelson. Mads Mickelson. That's what it was. My guy from the I, Kojima so my, games. I think he might be a little bit John, too old. I don't know if he can. Can he get like that gritty? I haven't seen him in anything where he gets like absolutely dark and gritty though. I don't know if he could do that, but he could definitely give off that like uh, that that aura you were talking about of like. Um, of being just a presence that is yeah, terrifying. Agreed, in agreed. Baby Driver, he was fucking, he was a menace. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Jamie Foxx. No, I'm kidding. Jamie Foxx. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. I, you know who I thought you were going to say? Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese, no! <laughs> Hey, so, man. so so you hey, telling really? me, hey man, you coming out to Latveria where <laughs> I stay, where <laughs> I rule? This La- is crazy. Yeah, this Latveria, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> you gonna you gonna bring Sue the thing? Look what y'all turn into, bro. I'm gonna blow the bastard building, bro. This is crazy. <laughs> We're not doing this, man. Eject those Cito, cuz get out of <laughs> my country, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Oh, I'm setting no. up embargoes on all you bitches. Uh, like, come on, okay, Tyree. I, I see this dude. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. Cillian Murphy. Who was that? Cillian Murphy. Oh yeah, he oh. was um Scarecrow in the Dark Knight series. Yeah. He was Scarecrow. He's uh the main dude in the Peaky yeah. Blinders. Uh, um, apparently, a lot of people are very. I don't easy. know if I, I want. Could, yeah, kind I, of see that. I, I feel like he'd have to get he more like a little up. bit hench. He might have to get he like hench. Bro. Broke up. Yeah, yeah, he gotta get hench. Yeah, we get hench. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he a lot of people are saying him. I mean, I can, I mean, I can looking at him. I can kind of see it. Mm. I can, I I can kind of see it. That. He, he, be, he, he do have, on my priority He does list, have but. to get ripped, or he does have to get ripped. Mm. Uh, but he does have kind of like that essence. Mm. That scare, that spooky. I can see him as like a. As I can a see mystery. Yeah, a young, a younger Doom. Cool. Yeah, he got to mm-hmm. be like. Doom, like this, I feel like there's not like much mystery behind Doom. Doom is like, Nick, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm this is this yeah. is me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real. Yeah, but, you know, what's they doing behind forward. the mask? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, like I'm so again, sure. they're not. Well, none of us are consulted. Ain't nobody. No, yeah. yeah. This is this is this is a this is a spitball, bro. I'm about to say like these mm-hmm. niggas ain't picking up my calls. They not. Dead ass. Mm-mm. I'm about Damn. to drop 40k to have some input. <laughs> no, 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 no. shit, bro. It's it's 40k for Nintendo. You have to do it. Yeah, Disney for you. Buy-in. You gotta sell. You so gotta sell two houses. At least you gotta sell million. your house and one you don't own. I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm about. I'm about to compare stocks, but y'all can keep going. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. All right, we'll we'll see about That's Doom. Though. We'll see about Doom. All right. Uh, sliding a little bit forward about when figures out those numbers. Uh, Sega. Okay, has so been... Nintendo stock. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Fifty three dollars. A mm. Disney stock. Ninety six dollars and rising. Mm. So mm. about eighty k minimum. It's a little bad. You know, that's a you know that's a pricey penny. Yeah, and that's, you know what I'm that's not that's just to get in the room. Shares. That's and just, that's just a share. They might have more right. shares. So you have to yeah, buy the, the more requirement. Than that. Yeah. That's facts. I'm about to say, hey, man, just just to get in the room to, to potentially ask a question. You might not even get your turn. That's crazy, bro. 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 Anyways, so uh, Sega's been getting amped up lately over the, over the thought of getting Atlas games adapted to movies and TV shows in the future. So some of the chatter's been going on at Sega, and they've been really expressing interest over this topic. And the Sega head of entertainment production for TV and film stated together. Sega and Atlas are working to bring these stories and worlds to life through new mediums and for new audiences. So general thoughts on uh, Sega trying to push Atlas games into the big screens. I love it. Go ahead, one. No, that's it. I just love the idea of like Sega getting excited about a thought. Like, yo, I just thought of something. Like, whoa, let's go. Finally. (laughs) Persona anime. Can't wait. I mean, Persona live action. Can't wait. Whoa. Are sin live with the bomb CGI? Mm-hmm. Yippity skippity fucking do that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm shitting. Oh my god, Shinigami Tensei. You know, you know, Westerners are gonna love that story, mm-hmm. you know, uh, with live action. Ah, amazing. I, 
I, I will know, say bro. this. I will say this. A live action Yakuza or even a Yakuza anime would be, be cool. Fire. Would be cool. That see, uh, that, that's very grounded. But then that's a good idea. They don't do those. You have to. <laughs> you have to cap. You have to capture. Yeah. The essence of Yakuza mm-hmm. that I don't think they you really. Maybe you can. You can. You that's can. tough though. It's tough. Or so come out, come off as bland. It's it's, it's that's a Yakuza it's, is a, it, a specific blend of just like. Action, fun story. It has a lot into it. You know what I'm saying? We'll get into his DNA. The action that they won't be able to capture. That it's something very wacky mm-hmm. yeah, about. It's just Yakuza's off the wall fighting system. Right? Even yeah. like in, in um, get hit with DDTs and drop kicks, full body in the street and full body suits. Bro, bro, you know what I'm saying? Get, like getting smacked in the head with bats. Like, come on, yeah. dog. <laughs> in, in, uh in Judgment, which is made by the same, but basically mm-hmm. the team from the old team from the other Yakuza games. There's a car chase scene where the dude like literally pushes somebody off of a skateboard and like does skateboard tricks and catches up with this guy. Like he's like on the back of it, the car with a skateboard. And I'm like, I just don't know if y'all could do that a live action and it look good. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I mean, I mean, a Shimu movie would be cool, I guess. Yeah. Basically, the game is a movie. It, yeah. yeah. The Shimu was um, anime, right? Didn't didn't they drop a Shimu with Shimu anime recently? Yeah. Like in the past year or two ago. Games because the Persona Five anime was ass. Straight ass, horrible, mm. just I the heard, worst waste of time. I heard bad things about the World Ends with You anime too. They're like, oh, if you want to know about the game, oh, it, also I heard. Playing. I was yeah, really I excited about that. That's tough. That hurts. Yeah. I was excited about that because I wanted to mm. watch the anime and play the game, but then I kept hearing the anime was ass. I was like, well, mm-hmm. that just yeah, no point. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, like I said, man, more media c- coming out is always a good thing. It just has to be handled right. And we know these companies do not care about handling their properties, right? It's easier to make something cost effective, release it to the world, and hope it does good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah, it has to make sense, man. That's, 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 that's also something in the trailer show that we always talk about. It Does it make sense to even do this thing? And seeing, you know, I don't know too much about Persona, but seeing that in live action, I don't know if all of that translates, bro, you know what I'm saying? Some big it. ass, some big ass bubble headed black cat just walking around and stuff like that. You think that makes exact, you know what I'm saying? Does it, would it look good in that context? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just about making sense. And I don't think a lot of the Atlas. The, the IPs two biggest franchises the biggest they sense. have, the two biggest franchises they have, Atlas specifically, are Shinigami mm-hmm. Tensei and Persona. Persona. Mm-hmm. So nine times out of 10, we will probably get a live action show of one of those two. Those will not translate well. Yeah. In live action. I hear it. I hear it, man. But Sega, you know what I'm saying? Sega trying to get that bag though. So it, it is what they it are. is, man. Ah, uh, it is what it is. But yeah, moving on to the last story of the trailer trove. Uh, we had DC drop a new trailer for the upcoming film, Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, dropping us into a story where all of the adults have seemingly been put under the influence of Sorrow the Conqueror from the looks of it. And it's up to John Kent and Damian Wayne to save the day. Now, a general thoughts on this, man. I, I've seen some 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 th- some thoughts about the style, just the plot and stuff like that. I mean, DC really don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they particularly miss the movies at all. So, I mean, it was like an interesting watch. How y'all feel about it? <clears throat> animated movies. Animated movies. Yes, yes, animated movies. Please, like, asterisk, animated movies. I I heard really good things about Bat- it's like Samurai Batman or or whatever it was called. Mm. Um, even though I hated that art style. I haven't watched it yet. I, I plan to. I just don't like CGI anime like that. Mm. Um same problem i have with this one it looks good though i really love the dynamic of of superboy basically superboy and uh damian wayne mm. um so like i will probably catch it because i do like that there's a really cool story uh that dc had that will have to do with like zombies quote unquote like their mm. their version of zombies um where like damian and and superboy were essentially the new batman and robin because everybody was like taking over or whatever mm. so i can't wait to see this um I definitely will be catching it on a HBO Max. <laughs> it's gonna be on HBO. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so I haven't seen much besides like one pic of. I think they were complaining about Damien's hair. That's the only thing I saw. Yeah, Bohawks like, mm. are just not it or whatever yeah. the fuck they think they're doing. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, you know, when you, you know, when their kids are like 13, 14, they think that shit yeah. cool. 2016, yeah. like, 20, 2016 me takes offense, by the way. Just want to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, really nasty pick. I man, man, fuck you. Uh, how do I feel about this? It could be cool. 
It's cool. It looks cool. I, I bang with the uh the DC animated stuff. I mean, yeah. the art style. CGI is CGI, you know. It looks a little clunky, but, you know, sometimes we watch stuff because yeah. we just like it. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the craziest thing about me is, like, I'm not even mad at that CGI like that. I don't know why me personally. I know everybody has, like, generally there's been gripes about, like, that CGI type style. But then it just hit me the other day about, like, Iron Man Armored Adventures, that shit from 2008. Like, they had, like, oh, the, like, like that series. I don't know. I kind of, I, I personally liked it. I don't know why from mm-hmm. there it kind of caught my eye, but I, I did, I never, I never, like, I never, you know, struck out against the CGI type style like that. So I guess that's why I don't have so much of a problem with it because I like that show from, from that, from that time period. I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it is what it is, but I know people have their, again, their two cents about the, the art style. It's a little bit divisive. So I, I'm a, I'm a call a spade a spade it is what it is, but the DC animated film, like literally it should it should be a solid watch. So I'm I'm yeah, I'm looking forward to it actually. They're never they're never ass. There yeah. are a few yeah. mid ones. Mid, yeah. I, I'll say that I'll watch it, but I'm probably just gonna be still more excited about Harley Quinn season three than I would. Oh, one hundred percent. Yes. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Harley Harley, Harley Quinn's that's that's a crazy show. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm about to say, fantastic. That's, a, that's a fantastic show, by the way. But yeah. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, that's all we got for the trailer trove. We got a couple more stories to run through. So moving on to kind of content creation and, uh, you know, platform type news this week, Twitch got some unveiling for a brand new feature to the streaming platform entitled guest star. Now, this feature will enable streamers to invite any Twitch user into their stream with full audio, video, and screen sharing capability. Think of like a Zoom or a Microsoft Teams for Twitch. That's going to roll out via OBS plugin or Twitch Studio. Uh, each guest, which a ma- which there's a max of five, has their own source link, which you can configure around your screen around your screen uh, to basically just mitigate any uh, screen reshuffles. Like if somebody leaves a Discord and like the whole camera things have to shift around, that gets uh, that gets reduced and removed. Uh, basically it's going to be in beta right now going to be rolled out to everyone eventually and you will have the choice to turn off or on requests customize who can request uh have favorites have favorites out of a list and have mod privileges for that uh that feature and more so yeah how do you feel about guest star i am happy that youtube is making these boys sweat like this because they are they are this is the first year I've seen people be like, yo, Twitch is coming out with some new shit, and they say that consistently. We still haven't gotten squad streaming, and that shit was announced when I started streaming. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm happy that these motherfuckers is finally taking shit serious. Like, they finally, like, leaning forward and shit, because that gravy train is uh, coming to a stop, my boys. Um, this is cool. Um, I mean, this just kind of sounds like just hopping in a Discord call, but hey, whatever whatever y'all want to do maybe it integrates the chats together like that would be mm. cool but i don't i don't know what's going to happen here uh maybe this is their maybe this is what they are going to do for squad streaming or whatever maybe this is how they're going to change that but yeah. um shout out to them for trying new shit really no mm. facts i don't have nothing to say i think it's hey man give more features to the creators so the creators can create yeah mm-hmm. literally and i think you just wrapped it up a perfectly grist <laughs> yeah facts <laughs> I got nothing, but yeah, again, YouTube on your ass, so you better keep innovating or else. I'm about to say that's all. that's literally it for that. Um and, and keep and keep uh up in that split. Facts. <laughs> facts. Five percent at a time. <laughs> facts. Uh, I'm gonna need that every uh two weeks, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, get on it, get on it. Uh price of the brick going up. Uh, facts. Let them know. All right, on to the the second to last story, the penultimate story. So uh we had a showcase this week coming from Tencent. Uh, and they just had highlighted a whole bunch of stuff that they've been working on. And their Lightspeed Studio uh, revealed a brand new open world AAA game that's been based on the world of Jin Yong Wuxia, which is like super, uh, it's a super popular, like, you know, comes from a super popular author. The genre is just kind of like based on uh, like a lot of martial artists and like their, their like legendary tales of their adventures and things like that. And uh, Jin Yong, uh, he started his works in 1957. It's a hugely popular novel series uh, out in Asia. And, you know, people love it. And so that's being brought into this AAA game. Uh, there was a trailer for it that dropped. How are y'all feeling about this game? I, I'm going to wait till Wukong comes out. That's kind of how I feel about it. Like, that'll be my intro to these kind of like, um, I guess it would be Eastern games. Mm-hmm. That would have mm-hmm. what we would yeah, Eastern, yeah, East, yeah. Eastern AAA open world, yeah. I'm excited for Wukong because I know Wukong. Um, and if I fucked with Wukong, then I'll definitely be keep keep trying out these games. Um, and by keep trying out, like I'm not against playing this at some point, but full price, my pockets is strapped, baby. 
Um, I don't know. The trailer looked kind of, kind of. Uh, the FPS was kind of. Eh. See the few stutters in there. Mm. Um, it might be. I don't know how early or how late this game is supposed to come out. Uh, the Unreal Engine, that's cool. Open World, that's cool. Um, I, all these games just like we just said, Wukong looks very similar to this. I know Wukong. I don't know Jin Jin Wu. Young, mm. I don't know him. I, I'm not mm. really that pressed. Yeah. If the homies, if y'all get it, y'all say, "Oh, this game is gas." I might give it a spin, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't yeah, know how... I, I, it's not leaving me impressed much. Like I literally just downloaded like Naraka Blade Point. And mm. it's giving me those vibes, low key. Like, it could be just you no know, recency of bias, but like, I literally just saw the same trailer on Naraka Blade Point. I'm like, I don't know. Mm. Like, ah, there was it... uh, another game coming out for Xbox that was very similar to this. If you guys, know oh yeah, yeah, like... it was on. Um, it was like not the... Lubu. Lubu was in yes, it. Yes, but... it was the it was the Lubu joint. Yeah, I know you're talking about. It was the like it was Wulong. It's being it made like by Ninja Theory. Yeah, Wulong. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Wulong. yeah. it was Wulong. I feel like it's very good to be <laughs> um, <laughs> to experience. Yeah, Wulong, Wulong, Fallen Dynasty. There it is. Wulong to experience yeah. other cultures. Um, from all over the world, so I think this is very good for people. There we go. Yeah, to all, all people sending dick pics, maybe a learn lesson for you, dickhead. So, uh, uh, I'm about to say. So, uh, for me personally, I one this actually got me super excited to actually just learn more about the wuxia, like the whole genre of books that they have yeah. over there and stuff like that. Like I, I fuck with Eastern culture. This shit's dope. So me seeing those types of games kind of make their way to the West and just on, on a global presence be exposed so we can get more into that. I might try and find like little short stories or stuff where I can like tap into a novel or just look at the author's works and see what's going on and what we might be getting into. For my first look, it was like, oh, you know, uh, I guess like Black Myth Wukong deals more like like the the like the super supernatural and like super godly side, and then like the the wuxia type of genre deals with like you know demigods, half gods, and like the martial arts more kind of like i guess more close to earth like humanistic but they still have some crazy power type story so it's like two halves of the same coin just one's like the first half one's the second half so interesting to see where that stems from again gameplay looks a little it looks pretty straightforward looks pretty good they still have to work on you know, again polishing make sure the flash is there one thing i will say how do you make the art style how do you make things stand out to be distinct from one another you know what i'm saying especially in terms of that so if Tencent's is going to be making all these triple a games how do you make them distinct from one another? Because again, with Wukong, with Black Myth, we can see exactly how that's different. You can see exactly what the influence is from again yeah, that type of that, that type of game. Again, literally, and it, it's so easy for them to again just just kind of work off of the different aesthetics, the different enemies he might run into, the environments, the enemy types. Again, like you know what a lot of people might not be as knowledgeable on the, you know, these stories where they come from and stuff like that, especially in Western markets, motherfuckers are stupid and ignorant. So we're not going to you know, tap into it as much, you know what I'm saying? In terms of doing research and figuring out, okay, what's this game? What's this based on? What are some of the, you know, the draws and pulls? So how do you make it distinct off the rip? And how do you really set that standard of, Hey, this is a different game. This is our own thing. It's based off of this world. Come join us. You know, how do you make that good first impression? I think that's going to be really important for this game. Black Myth Wukong, I, I agree with Wen. It's going to be like that first break into the space. Like, hey, we we do this. That's going to be that first impression. Yeah. If Black Myth Wukong comes out as fire, people, people are going to be like, yo, okay, they do this for real. We're tapped into what Tencent Lightspeed's doing. And then that second game is going to be real important to set that standard of, hey, listen, we're going to go this direction, but we still do this. So uh, interested to see it. Again, not excited. Not as excited as I am for uh, Black Myth Wukong, but still interesting. And again, if they polish it up, it could be a crazy flashy game. Yeah. And yeah, I'm I'm all I'm all for like super flashy, super like into it, like action, you know, combat RPG. So, hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, can I ask you a question? Mm. Um, do you? I I don't know. Me personally, I'm gonna ask you guys this: Do you see these games being super popular in Western markets? No. Potentially, um, I I potentially yes. I say no um because mm. of the so we have things like sifu dynasty warriors um ghost of tsushima 
Um, and then you have this something original where like you have Wukong. Um, it's like you're playing as a fucking like monkey man team. Yeah. Like that's 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 mm-hmm. fire. It's a great concept. But I think because one the West is so. I'm not going to say obsessed, but obsessed with like Eastern culture when it comes to like swords fight. Uh, yeah, they, they fixate fighting. on certain portions of Eastern culture. Sword, certain, sword, certain the martial portions. artistry and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But when it comes to the actual culture, 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 like, no, really something because, different from the base of what they know. Right. So that's why I say we have like, we have things like Sifu. We have things like Ghost of Tsushima. We... I don't see what's the, what's the name of this uh, previous game? Not Wukong, but um, uh, Jin Young. Jin Young, right? To me, it just looks like something that won't thrive here. Um, it looks flashy, looks cool, great, but I think we've had enough of that art style to mm-hmm. say we don't need to play this. Um, as as a, as a Westerner. Uh, I don't think that we will be driven towards that game specifically. Um, yeah. It just, it I feel just like for the general po- for the general populace, yeah, I feel like they won't be enticed. Yeah. I know me personally, I was raised off of Asian RPG, so I'm gonna definitely be like yes, at least looking no, out yeah, for this shit. Facts. I know me personally, like I will, like I'm I'm oh. out here because right, and it's, it's not like it's and it's not like Lu Bu where like I yeah. grew up on Lu Bu too. Warriors. Exactly. So I but think this long, I mean. being a new original IP. Uh, I don't think that it's going to get the traction that it may deserve here in. The, I feel like it'll the be a sleeper thing. Hemisphere. If it, if it comes out quality, it'll have that sleeper effect for like, oh shit, people, oh this game's actually fire. Okay, let's look into it, and then it'll start to snowball. Like it's gonna it'll, be, it'll it'll have to have something besides flashy swords play mm-hmm. and like great graphics. I was going to say two things. Uh, well, first thing to answer my own question, I feel like Americans or Westerners, let's just say Westerners. Like Asian culture, but only when it's stuff they're familiar with. One, yep. And when it's yes. too, when it's not too Asian, right? Yeah. I feel like this mm. is getting into. Uh, I hope I don't want. I'm not. Hope this I understand. Come off, right? I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I but agree. Like, it's getting too far too from their comfort zone, and it's actually it's authentic. Yes. It's it's yes. it's it's authentic to their culture, but it's something See, that people have never seen before. You know what I'm saying? Or at least like Westerners have never seen before. Open minded. Yeah. To like different types of stuff mm-hmm. would be like okay I don't know anything about uh Jin Jin Young I don't know about mm-hmm. the novels like when you was telling me this because been writing novels since 1956 something mm-hmm. in me sparked was like oh I might check one of these out mm-hmm. yeah. yo I, I had the same feeling when I first read it mm-hmm. right? so I'm like okay but like see Johnny in Middle America <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know and saying? that's why Sifu did so well because it was like Americanized mm-hmm. yeah. Chad. Mm-hmm. In Florida, who <laughs> plays Call of Duty could care less. Yeah, you know I'm about to I'm say, I'm about, so say I'm, I'm about to say, what's it called? Skyler sending dick pics about God of War Ragnarok. Right I don't think he's checking this out. I don't think he's right. checking this out. See, Sorry. And that's the thing about this game. It's going to be very niche in the Western market. I feel like Tencent wants a piece of our pie because if they did it, they wouldn't be trying to market towards us. They would mm-hmm. just be staying in the Asian countries like they were prior. But they know it's a, they know over here, we're, we're consumer driven, so why not try to get our consumer driven money dollars over here? So I don't know. I like I said, I think this could be a sleeper hit. Mm. I just I'm sitting here thinking, can it be as big as I would want a game like this to be? Probably not. Yeah, yeah. I I was gonna say is like I I fully agree. It's it's kind of just sad. Um, like because you can even just like I'll tell you. Like one one big experience that I had like recently this year was like I remember I was like yeah I want some really good Chinese food right and all the Chinese foods around me like they just started going downhill so I looked up like what's the best Chinese food and I just went to the one with the best reviews it was authentic Chinese food and I was like so out of my comfort zone but then like when I actually sat down and was like all right let me just sit here I had a great ass time and I'm definitely yeah. and I'm going back but it's like a lot of people if you ask them like what's your favorite like, it's the hood spot. Uh, or, or what's your favorite, <laughs> mm. Yeah, what's your favorite or what's your favorite taco spot? They'd be like, oh, I just go to a taco bar, I go to a Tex Mex spot. Like these mm. kinds of people, they don't they're not gonna venture outside uh, of their comfort it's, zone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like and that's the promise that this game is gonna be authentically uh Eastern and a lot yes. of these motherfuckers are gonna be like, uh, it's not really for me. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't hit my vibe. And it'll be the same people who will like 
who are weeaboos. No, yeah, who who will tweet about like Naruto and will talk all about that, like whatever. Like they'll talk about all this crazy cool anime shit. But then when it's like, yo, have you ever tried like like this is a game that's based in? And I know this is in Japanese, but like I'm saying like this is mm. Eastern culture. This is another this is culture. Lore. Like, Naruto yeah, is, is pure pure lore. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like this is a, this is what the type of shit that Naruto is based off. of. they'll be like, oh, it's just not for me because mm. of like something stupid or whatever. Yep, exactly. That's what I'm saying. We Americans love Asian and Eastern culture when it's palatable to us. Yeah. That when it gets starts getting a little too authentic, like when I can say that's, uh, that Chinese food example is amazing. You ask somebody what their favorite Chinese food is, they'll say Panda Express. But if you take them to a real Mandarin spot where, like, they're eating motherfucking um, duck and yeah. you know, mm-hmm. all these different type of, you know, like, uh, buns and type of shit that's really authentic to their culture, that you know, Chinese culture, they're like, whoa, buddy! <laughs> yeah. Where's the, where's the orange chicken? Like, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so. man. It's just, it's just people's... There's just a level of uh, uncomfort with, with things that are outside. Yeah, bias, man. It's too far mm-hmm. outside of their range, so they think, "Oh, it's it's foreign to me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it." Instead of actually trying to give it a shot, and I I, I understand that where it is. But again, if it hits and the gameplay is real quality and like there's there's a lot of good quality elements in it, I think it will catch on a little bit further than people might be letting on. You know what I'm saying? So like it it might catch that nice little cult following. You know what I'm saying? And it grow into a nice little like a bit higher of a rollout. People are starting Second to notice row. outside of it. Second row. Yeah. I was, like say, uh, I was gonna say light speed could and this funny, it's so fucking funny. I know we like to go to the next topic. It's Dude. so funny you said second row. Because light speed could be in their demon souls era of making video games. Mm. Where they're making when FromSoft first came out, they were making hella games, yada yada. But what they get popular for, this the Soul series, nobody was really playing Demon Souls. But a few people. Mm. The more people start playing Dark Souls, and then they just this. So this could be their early era of a company making yeah. um games, mm-hmm. and, and then, then you know, 10, 20 years from now, everybody turn know, around. Everybody's gonna go back. Mm-hmm. So and and you know we're gonna be playing Jin Wu remastered on PS eight. So. Right next year, Persona Five <laughs> RR. <laughs> Persona Five R Square. Like what, nigga? What is that? <laughs> like, you know, bro, but yeah, yeah, we'll see. We're going to see it down the road. We'll see it down the road. All right, last story for today. So uh, the team at Full Circle and EA have rolled out, or ollied out, I should say, of the woodworks and popped out a new trailer for the first official gameplay look of Skate in pre-pre-alpha form. But they packed a lot of little interesting details in there, man. So they also, alongside that uh, first, you know, that's trailer for official gameplay, they dropped a, a play test. They said it's going to be available now for anybody who's willing to, you know, come in, try the game, help with the development, and they're underway. So what are we thinking about all this, man? Skate actually is moving along. What's going on? One of my favorite game franchises ever to be made to ever touch a system. I mean, I skate in real life, nigga. Like, mm-hmm. I love skate. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. Um, I'm dead. You know, I need this in my veins. I am one of those people who watch Skate Three content to this day. And yes, there is Skate Three content being made Still. every day. Um, so yeah, hey man, finally, right? Yeah, finally. Um, EA, EA, listen to the fans. Yeah, there's a lot of franchises that EA just left in the dust. Um, which is funny from a company that like really really could use some good games coming out but uh this is i'm happy that they didn't get washed out i'm happy that the company that they're still making a skate game uh i really want this game to be as good as it possibly can so that they the, they can open their eyes and be like oh shit people who actually like the games that they liked back then they still those people are still around and they'll still buy more and like and they have money now yeah you know what i'm saying like oh man <laughs> like imagine if we brought back some good ips like mm. yeah. so i'm excited mm. to see the new skate so, you know, I, I think for me, this just proves my point that Sly Cooper would be great <laughs> in, this, in today's gen. <laughs> but who am I? Oh, um, but no, have honestly, anything to do with this? <laughs> oh, you're Sly. You know, Sly. <laughs> you know I, all I'm saying is, you know, I'm kind of indifferent about skate. I didn't really play skate. I, I played like Tony Hawk. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't play skate, but I'm happy for it. I'm always happy that people who enjoyed games are getting the games that they still love. Mm-hmm. So happy for y'all. I mean, I didn't really play it. I'll probably play it because it looks fun as hell. Um, I never hated the game. I just never played them. Mm-hmm. But 
you know, you bring back an IP that people love, and you're you're going to see the results that you want to see. Break back, I, Sly Cooper, you bastard! I just think it's interesting <laughs> that they're releasing skate at this point, and I feel like there's been so many skate ripoffs, skate XL. Oh yeah, skate XL games, session, session, all these type of games. I feel like uh, EA should have been. This. But you know they're slow. They're slow. They're slow until that's a lot of companies. And also the same companies when they saw Callisto Protocol, they're like, "Oh shit, Dead Space remake. Let's go. Let's go." The same people that did that. So it's like it's not out their wheelhouse. So I feel like when people see enough momentum behind you know little like side project that are I guess inspired or have that some sort of DNA or inspiration from those IPs, then they'll be like, "Oh shit, we might need to revisit this." People are kind of buying into that. Let's 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 tap back in. So maybe they're like they're like laggards in their own system. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're behind the cosh in their own system. They'll, they'll see everything grow. They're not the early movers to the to the IP. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, after this stuff settles down, people want it back. Like, ah, we don't hear y'all. Then they start buying other games that look like it. Like, oh, shoot. Let's tap back in. So maybe that's why they're always late on that stuff. But speaking on Skate itself, it is, this again, this is pre-pre-alpha. I'm taking it with a grain of salt. But from what I've seen so far, I am... I, if I wasn't excited before, I'm super excited now. Like... Looking, looking at everything from like the body control, how they like upped it so much, you can parkour to spots again, like the flips you can do on the on the on the set of wheels and, and off it and stuff like that looks really really cool, looks really really fluid. And uh, again, just looking at like how they're trying to implement stuff into this game, the cosmetics and the clothes fix actually look pretty solid. The man had a Dior shirt on. I seen the all the drip he was put on. So like yeah, the the, yeah. the brand the brand inclusions that they can have in there. I, again, if you like saw the a part of the trailer as well, it had like a little like a comment bubble that kept popping up. I saw grip yeah. tape customization. I saw so many different things that looked like they were considering all of them. That they're probably going to implement most of those joints. So. That's really cool. And one thing I think people might be undercutting uh, as, as a part of this trailer, look how many people were in these shots. Look how many people were just in those shots of the games. Like, That's there was crazy. Like, groups of 20 people, groups of whatever, just watching watching skate grinds, you know what I'm saying? Like, watching, do, moving, traversing all over the place. They really yeah. want this. I think it's going to be a really, again, just this big online open world. Like, again, like... GTA lobby skate GTA lobby just skating That'd around doing your thing and that's gonna be insane and I feel like on top of that I hope that they can really again just hone down on all these modes that make the game fun the hall of meets you know what I'm saying like the sk little skate battles and stuff like that like the spot battles and stuff like so many different things that made skate skate they need to crank it up to like an 11 and I think they're planning on that but right now it's just like the bare roots of making sure the gameplay is good and making sure the capacity for the game whether, whether it be in the open world or wherever spot that they're in making it really quality but they they it looks good so far man i signed up for that play test quick as hell bro the site crashed i think a couple times there was like a waiting list for some oh, people I'm trying sure. to get into the play test bro like I, it looks i didn't sign good. up to the play test because i just want to play it when it come out nah, i'm i'm hey, i'm excited I'm, but I'm, I don't open. Wanna... I'm, I'm horny for that shit i'll be, I'll be on the play test like as soon as it drops i'm i will openly admit that shit it. Then I'd be listen. jealous that I ain't sign up for it. I can see it. <laughs> I'm dead. But yeah, man. Skate skate looks really, really good, man. I'm telling you. I, I feel like also one thing is being undercut is like the level of marketing that they're doing. Like they're keeping it honest. They're keeping it light. They're keeping it really like they're they're making a really, really good like, you know, campaign trail with the first few trailers that they drop. Again, it's like a, a community. It feels like community. It feels like, hey, listen, bro, mm -hmm. we just stopping in, you know, stopping in to update you guys. We're not dead. We're alive. Like again, just the the tone of voice, the stuff that they're using, the the, the details that they're providing, really again connects people back with the franchise. And again, like everybody's going crazy over it. YouTube been going crazy over it. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, everybody online has been like just like salivating over this stuff. Like skate. I'm glad that they're on the, the path to coming back, and I can't wait to see what's yeah. next. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. man, we here. But yeah, with that being said, that's all the notes we got on the pod, man. Any stories that we might have missed for the week, y'all? Anything that, that might have slipped past uh, on the show notes? Oh, uh, 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 that streamer dude who had 2.5 million people in his, uh, his chat <laughs> recently. Uh, his name is uh, Ebon. Ebon, he's a Europe uh, Mexican streamer. Oh. He did, some, he did some event. He just surpassed, like, the record. Oh uh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was some live event. Yeah, he did. He did break the uh, the the uh, concurrent viewer record. Concurrent viewer You're record. Right. Yep. Oh You're wow. Right. Two point mm. five. No, three million people in the street at once. <laughs> Insanity, yeah. bro. Insanity, wow. bro. Three people. He is, and, I, and he got four hundred followers. Four hundred three million. Oh, I was about to say four hundred thousand followers. Damn. Um, uh, forty nine thousand subs. 
Golly. And on top of his, you know, already 30 plus thousand subs. So extra 49,000. Mm-hmm. And uh, what was the last thing? He is now the most, he is the fifth most followed streamer on Golly. the website. Yeah. That's Man's crazy. Um, 245k. Let me get his let me get his ad again so I can like add some money uh real quick. Let me just get that ad one more time. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know we cousins, right? Hey, yeah. hey, uh, Come hey. on, bro. What's up? What's hey, popping, dog? Pretty emo, pretty emo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought That's that was wild. interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. Crazy how how like and also show, goes to show like how again. Insular people think sometimes like, oh yeah, the biggest streamers are in America, right? They're like ninja and shit like that. No, nin- like some of these motherfuckers nah. don't hold a candle. This man you know what I'm saying? don't speak to that dude, like English. Yeah. To that dude from Spain, um, to the I'm about to say to uh, so many people around the world, man. They're just their followings are crazy. It's a lot bigger than just English speaking folks, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Like y'all need mm-hmm. to pay attention outside. Mm-mm. There's wow, four man. point something billion people on Earth, bro. Never forget yeah. that. Facts, facts, bro. Mm-mm. But yeah, uh, that being said, that's all we got for the pod, man. Hey, listen, just wanted to say rate this bitch five star because it's been a, a hell of an episode. You know what I'm saying? So much content, bro. I thought we was never going to get off that first topic, bro. I promise y'all. Y'all was going nah, crazy. It's going to be, it was gonna be a whole episode minute. on it, yo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it could have been. There could have been a whole episode. I'm not going to lie to you. But listen, I appreciate all the, the energy and effort. You know what I'm saying? Y'all put through off the rip, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's all love, man. But so uh, again, rate this bitch five star. Apple Podcast, Spotify, five stars, bro. Five. Like five knuckle shuffle, bro. Like John Cena in this bitch, five. bro. We need, we need five stars or else. We need that five, bro. And then share it around and tell them to drop five on it too. Or else you pull up like Debo, bro. Coming for your chain, bro. And your PS5 yeah. monitor. Real talk. Anyways, <laughs> before we sign off, man, just thank you to our guests today. Of course, Grizz on 13 and Charles of Sauce. Charles, if you want to start by giving your last leaving closing messages, the floor is yours. Um, let's see. Um be more like Momoji and don't be like people that send dick pics to harass devs and people who don't have anything to do with release dates. Um, we Momiji need... supremacy, baby. Yes, sir. Momiji supremacy. Um, we need to lobby to get Sly Cooper back into <laughs> the regular rotation for Sony. And those are my last remarks. Fair, fair. Charles the Sauce, man. You can find him on Twitter at Charles No Sauce, YouTube yes, Charles the Sauce, TikTok yes, Charles sir. the Sauce. Make sure you find him, man. Make sure you find him and drop him a follow. Mm-hmm. Riz on 13th, your closing notes for today's episode. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for randomly having me on here. I appreciate it. I listen to your guys' podcast. Um, it's always fun talking to people about gaming news because I can't talk to my real friends about it because I <laughs> uh, <laughs> to say you guys are not my real friends. I'm just talking about the niggas. I go to the bars. The real life niggas. <laughs> yeah. You um, can't you can't you can't bring up people sending dick pics uh, to to God award the bar, bro. I'm sorry. That's that's, that's, that's a pretty sensitive random. Time. They just don't care. They want to talk to me about their kids and shit. I don't care about the dog. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you guys. Thank you guys again. Um, also, let me see. Closing remarks in terms of the world, uh, gaming world, please stop being weird please. about gaming stuff. It's We're here to have fun and we're here to enjoy ourselves, not to be fucking weirdos. So, hey, you know, you can have a personality outside of gaming. It's it's really cool, you know. Um, it actually makes you a better person. So maybe you should pick up something like a sport or like what a, a concept. You know, you know, maybe pick up cooking. Just, you know, do something other than just gaming, you know. Um, I had a few friends that just skateboard, and that's all they do, and they're really lame. So do something else. And uh, you guys can follow me on Grizz on 13th. Uh, just type it on any search, anything, and, you know, my YouTube will come up. It'll probably be a different name. It'll be like Grizz, Grizz on TV dot TV or Grizz on TV dot clips, but it's all me. If it's a thir- on 13th, it is me. So thank you guys for having me again. And yeah. I already know, man. Diversify your bonds. Stop playing with them. Diversify your bonds. <laughs> when easy. Closing notes for the pod. Um, yeah, uh, drink your water and uh, stop being a weirdo. <laughs> but I say that every, I say that all the time. But yeah, uh, re- big re-emphasis: stop being a weirdo. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stop. It's not. It's, facts, it's bro. drastic. Mm-hmm. Please, hey, we are begging. Listen, listen. My closing notes is um. 
Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everybody supporting the pod, doing the thing, bro. We might have some special things. We might have like a short impromptu. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we might have to do something at DreamCon, bro. Just little little tidbits, you know what I'm saying? In the middle of the show floor or whatever. I don't know how we're going to map it out, but we'll see. We'll see that down the line, man. But shout out to everybody supporting supporting the pod. You know what I'm saying? Showing us love, sharing us around. Please continue to do so. And let people know that we about to be one of the best damn podcasts. If we are not already, we damn sure about to be. See, Jake? See, I better recognize, man. 29 episodes deep and we doing a damn thing, man. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Uh, make sure you guys follow the pod at No Cool Down Pod on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Just search in No Cool Down on any audio platform and you will be there. Um, Stitcher, Spotify, Apple, Anchor. Just type in No Cool Down Deezer. and you will find us. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if we're on that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Facts. For the, <laughs> and for the video version and to support my boy, when make sure you guys follow Wotaku channel on YouTube. That is W-O-T-A-K-U space channel on youtube went easy on all of the platforms for myself that man trip on all other all the platforms man about say social medias and youtube alike you know what i'm saying shout out to growth as well of course a couple of the growth homies in here today make sure you check on growth at all for growth on twitter a lot of big stuff is coming you don't want to miss it from no cool down side from personal side and from growth side it's too much content too much dope stuff coming your way you guys don't don't get left behind don't get left behind man but yeah That's all we got for episode 29 of No Cool Down. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. We out of there.